Yeah, right. Oh, shit. Yeah, but don't do that. <laughs> right, turn, gonna turn, keep... turn your computer phone off. Yeah, because right, that's going to keep echoing through the whole yeah. night. All right, we'll talk. Okay. All right, cool. Well, cool. All right, so now we know we're all set. <clears throat> Thanks to our outside tech, Mark Crouch. <laughs> yeah, special guest, yes. Special guest. So, so what's the the whole hairy deal here, man? We, uh, I, I posted this on. I hope you don't mind. I posted it on Facebook a little while ago that you're going to be on here and that you had the big whole story to tell and everything. And we're all extremely. You told me basically the brunt of it uh, a couple days ago when we were on the phone. But uh, yeah, you got to retell it. It's fucking absolutely crazy, fucking ridiculous. <laughs> by saying that I've <clears throat> pretty much known this guy since the fourth grade. When right. I moved, when I moved to Woodland, he was my neighbor. <clears throat> I mean, his family has been my family's neighbor all of my family's life. My family grew up on this road. So his family's lived on this road. So when I come out here, we become friends and like a third grade and then, I mean, close friends. Right. Like, to where the point was one of us was always at the other one's house. So, <clears throat> you're not sorry. even in your chair, and I'm telling you a story. Sorry, I, I had to turn up the mic so I could hear you better. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> but go for it, go for it, yeah. All right, and uh, like I said, we were close, real close. I mean, family. And I got out of prison after doing a long bid. He was kind of the first person that uh, I started hanging out with to try to get back into society if you will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. So, uh, we started hanging out daily and started doing our thing. Just, you know, I was on probation so I couldn't really do too much. Right. <laughs> I, we'd go out and hang out and do things that were legal for me. Right. And we did. And, uh, one girl that I hadn't seen in a long time, Stephanie, was living in Bangor and she wanted to come up hang out so she come up one time and we all went out and hung out together well he kind of started to have a little crush on her right right so then getting to the point of the night it was a friday night and she was coming up and my girlfriend judy we said well we'll all go out and do something together so and every friday night me and sheldon and judy always hung out i mean every friday night we were together the three of us right yeah, that's what so, she was saying. She said the same thing. She said he was yeah, totally I mean, we'd cool go, guy. Every always... Friday night, we'd uh, take Sheldon's pickup. Me and Sheldon would go into Judy's house, and we'd leave Sheldon's pickup there, and we'd get in Judy's car, and we'd go where we were going. Right. And then we'd take a cab back when we were done, and then Sheldon would wake up in the morning and bring her to get the car. So on this night, same as everything, we all met at Judy's. Stephanie wasn't there. She was in Prescott, so we all met at Judy's, and... We all jumped to Judy's car and went to Prescott, and we went into a couple places, and when we got there, girls dressed like girls, you know, tight clothes, and oh, yeah. not yeah. pockets, and <laughs> yeah. you know, she had no keys, place to put her keys. So she asked Sheldon, he had a hoodie on, she goes, can you hold my keys for me? He said, yeah, yeah. So then Stephanie showed up, and she was holding her keys. And Sheldon's like, well, let me hold your keys for you, too. So he put the keys in his hoodie. As the night progressed, things happened, and uh, Stephanie come up to me, and she said, can you ask Sheldon to back off a little bit? He's kind of groping me and manhandling me. I said, man, no problem. So I went up to him, and I said, look, man, no disrespect to her. I kind of went up to him, and I said, look, man, back off. You know, something might, more might happen later, but don't try to right, worry right. about it. <laughs> you know, give her a little room. Yeah, don't blow your wad. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. So, you know, don't. Fucking ten o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we uh, he goes at that time. He says, "Well, what are we doing tomorrow night?" I said, "I don't know. We'll figure something out." And he says, "Well, we're gonna hang out, right?" And I said, "Yeah, absolutely, we're gonna hang out." So then I go back to wherever I was. And obviously, everybody knows I was at a bar. Right. No secret. So I go back to the bar, and both of the girls come up to me and they said, "Well, can we go out with you tomorrow night too?" Sheldon said, "We can't. You're going out with him." I said, no, you know, my girlfriend only gets to have every other weekend due to her children. She only gets to have every other weekend to go out. I said, no, all four of us will go out and do something. So he came come up to me and he says, I thought we were going out tomorrow night. I said, we 
we are. They're coming with us. He says, no, no. And he acted like kind of like a like a high school girl, I guess. Right. <laughs> and I'm like, like jealous. He says, no, we were supposed to go out alone. I said, man, it's not a big deal. We'll hang out, all four of us, like we are tonight. So he, I had thought he went outside to smoke a cigarette. And the girls went outside with him. So I'm in the bar. The girls come back in. And they said, he's leaving. He's taking off a Judy's car. Whatever, I don't care. We'll take a cab home later. Right. So as, as he's leaving, I call his phone, and we got all the records from the phones and every text message we subpoenaed U.S. Cellular and got everything. I called him. I said, "You're going to get your pickup at Judy's house," and he says, "Yes." And I said, "All right. Leave the keys to all the vehicles underneath the front seat of that car." And he said, "Yeah, no problem, no problem." And he was kind of acting, you know, you were supposed to go out with me tomorrow night. I can't believe you're going to blow me off. Whatever, man. Yeah. You got a crush on me, just say it. I don't yeah. know what's going <laughs> on, yeah. man. What's in your head? Right, right. So we went about our night, and we hooked up with another guy named Chad, and he was heading to Caribou in a cab, and so we all jumped in the cab. Oh, yeah, Chad. He's, he's my neighbor, yeah. He's, he's yeah, a pretty funny know, guy. Yeah, we, we were, you know, I wasn't that messed up. Stephanie don't drink at all, and she probably had one or two shots, three shots maybe over the course of the night. Right, right. I told everybody I'd pay for the cab ride home, and we'd go back and get the car in the morning. Like we do every fucking Saturday. Right. We had swear on the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, on our way back to town, I was getting text messages from him. Like, high school shit. Like, I can't believe you're doing this to me, and we're supposed to be best friends, and you're going to blow me <laughs> off for girls, and... No, like shit. you're in the eighth grade or something. Like, I, I, That's crazy. So I texted him back. I said, "Where are the keys?" And he wouldn't answer me. So we get to Judy's house, and of course we get to the car, and there's no key. Her car's there. His pickup's gone, but there's no key. Right. So I said, "Fuck." Her house keys are on it. Every one of her keys that she goes to day to day operations are on it. Plus, he's got Stephanie's fucking house keys and car keys. So I texted him. I said, "Where are the keys?" He says, "If you want them, come get them." Well, Chad says, boost me in through this window. I said, all right. So I boosted Chad through the window, and he got us into the house. And I didn't know at the time, but he was texting Stephanie, too. He was texting Stephanie some stuff like, I can't believe you're going to go out with him tomorrow night. And, you know, he's lying to all of you people, and I don't know what you guys are thinking hanging out with him. Pretty much trash talking to me. Right. But he kind of wouldn't do it to me, you know, but whatever. He just own. So we get in the house, and Judy had a Jeep there. Stephanie, like I said, had probably had three shots tonight, and then these girls needed their keys. So I texted him. I said, where are the car keys? He says, if you want them, come get them. Now, this was about 1.30 when the first text happened. I got them all. I got all the texts. My lawyer got them all from U.S. Cellular. Right, printed right. out. Yeah. So, wait, he was, he was texting you, telling if you want them, come get them, but where were you? I was at Judy's house. Oh, you were at Judy's. Park. Okay, okay, because you didn't have the keys, so you had to go in through the window. Yeah, we went in through the okay, window, gotcha. and we all were in Judy's house, and you know, we were all sitting yeah. at the kitchen table. All four of us, Chad, Stephanie, me, and Judy. Yeah. So Stephanie's like, well, I need my keys, too. I should have to leave and go back to Bangor. Right, and right. Days, she needed a car. Everybody needs a key, you know? So he's texting Stephanie. I didn't know at the time, but he's texting Stephanie some real trashy shit, you know? Just right. Pretty much saying fucking how mad he is at me because I lied to him because I said I was going out with him tomorrow night alone and now I invited the girl. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well, you think that would be <laughs> awesome that you were inviting the fucking chick? You know? right. no, so I texted him back I said, man, if you don't want to go out this morning, fine, I'll go out with the two girls. Yeah, I'll take two. You know? I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have a blast. You know? <laughs> so he texted me back, uh, you want to see me mad, you'll see me mad now because I always used to pick on him never really could get mad. Right. He was kind of a pushover. Yeah. You know, he was one of those guys you could point your finger at his face and he'd bow like a beat dog. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, I said, whatever, man, you know, it's, we just want the car keys. So he was texting Stephanie. Well, if he wants the car keys, bring him out to get them. So, we all jumped in Judy's Jeep, Stephanie driving, sober driver. We get out, and I'm texting him. I'm on my way. And he says, come in and get them. So right at the top of the hill, about probably five minutes from his house, I texted him. I said, Sheldon, I need the keys to the girl's car. And the text message is right in front of me right now, still on my phone. He yeah. says, come get him, bitch. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. <clears throat> whatever, you know. And then Stephanie's phone went ding. Well, nobody answered it because we were pulling in his driveway. Now, this is 2.29 a.m. Um, I go, tell the girls, I'm going in to get the keys. So if I'm not back in a couple minutes, come fucking get me. You know. I walk up to the fucking front door. All the lights were off except for the porch light. And like I said, the dude's my best friend. I pretty much live at his house. Right. So I just walk in the door. Like I always do. Right. And he's standing in the living room. And he says, you kicked in my door. I said, tell him I didn't kick in your fucking door. He says, you kicked in my door. I said, what? And he raised a gun. Well, when he raised a gun at me, I ran after him. I started running towards him. I didn't know it at the time because my adrenaline was pumping. Well, as soon as he raised the gun, he already shot. Holy you know fuck. I mean? He yeah, shot yeah. first as soon as he pointed the gun. And then he said, you kicked in my door. Well, I didn't know I was already hit. You know what I mean? My adrenaline was falling. Oh, yeah. So he starts squeezing off more rounds. Pop, pop, pop. So I tackled him, got the gun away from him. He ran into the kitchen screaming, no, stop. Like, what the fuck is your problem? I didn't know I'd been shot. I, I really didn't. Right. Yeah, shock is setting in, and I'm sure, and everything, huh? Right. You know, I mean, I didn't know what was going on. So right. He's yelling in the kitchen, and he looks down at my legs, and I look down, and, I mean, there's just fucking blood everywhere. <sighs> Stephanie come to the door right at that time, and I looked at Stephanie, and she says, oh, my God, you're shot. And I said, what? So I kneeled down, and then... I kind of remember some more. I mean, I kind of remember coming in and out, you know. Right. And him sitting on the couch, calm, cool, and collective, like nothing ever happened, talking to 911. Yeah, an intruder just broke into my house, and I shot him. Wow. Um, I know I don't know who it is. Now, the lights are all on. He's looking right at me. <laughs> now, I got the 911 tapes, and he's, the 911 officer, officer's like, okay, well, I load the gun. Get a rag, put it on the wounds. He's like, yeah, I've got a rag, it's on the wounds. And he was nowhere near me. By that time, Judy was already in the house, holding me and putting rags on two major shots, one in my stomach and one in a major artery in the top of my leg. And he's just sitting there, like, like really creepy, man. It was like, yeah. like he didn't even, nothing even happened. On fucking believable. I mean, even in the 911 call, it's, Wow. It's like me and you talking right now. It's just calm, cool. Right. You know? So I get so, oh, to the right, hospital. Right. I get in the ambulance and whatever. They have their little interviews. Well, I didn't know that the last text message Stephanie got at 2.31 a.m. said, send him in alone. Oh, so this was when you already left the car and you were going up to the right. Place. Remember, right. remember, I said I heard a ding. Oh yeah, you heard a ding and you were pulling and in. Right. Nobody answered it. You know what I mean? Right, right, because you were already there. It, yeah. said, it said, "Send him in alone." On oh, fucking real. So now, the cops showed up there. You know what I mean? And I'm at the hospital, and I'm, I don't want to mention no cops or anything because I still got to go take just a trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really yeah. don't want to slander anybody. But yeah, yeah. Um, the first cop. I'd have to say is probably, if not the best friend, a dear personal friend of his father's. Right. So he was kind of like coaching him through the whole interrogation. Mm. No like, shit. Yeah. Well, yeah he, didn't happen. he do this? And didn't he do this? As he's recording it. Well, yeah, sure he must have did this. Yeah, because you're bad Mark Crouch. Yeah. <laughs> right. you know, I mean, I've, I've already got the name and oh, yeah. whatever. And of course, now the cops there. He's starting to get emotional. I've got the t- the recorded interview and he's starting to I don't believe this shit I can't believe this now here's where it gets fucked up his first interview to the first cop his statement was I was upstairs sleeping now take check this but I went into the house he was wearing the same clothes as we are we went to the bar shoes still on right right and when the cops there interviewing him he's still in the same outfit with the shoes still on hmm? so he said I'm upstairs sleeping I heard somebody kick in my door. I come downstairs. I was tackled from behind. And I shot the guy. Oh, I'm fucking the first interview. And, of course, now the cops don't know nothing about the text messages. So right, right. Them. Right, they're still kind of in the dark, yeah. Right, they're, they're, 
believe that somebody let me, I went there and kicked his fucking door. And, right, right. Of course was, that was yeah. all night. We were together all night. And that he had just texted me. The last text message I got from him was four minutes before the 911 call was made. Right. So saying, come get him. So that was, that was his first statement. He was interviewed like three hours later by a different officer. Now this officer has no prejudice, you know what I mean? No, uh, no favoritism. You know, right. right, right. And his statement was, he heard some noise outside. He got up, loaded his gun. He was sleeping. Now he was sleeping. He says, he come down the stairs. Somebody kicked in the door. He yelled, stop, I've got a gun. And the guy ran at him and tackled him. And then he shot him. And they said, did you know who it was? And he says, no, I didn't know who was in my house. Wow. Then he was interviewed <clears throat> by another officer three days later, and his statement was, I was upstairs sleeping. I did, uh, I'll hold on all the statements. He had he had no recollection of me or anybody coming out. It, he, he didn't know none of us were on our way. He didn't right. back to any of us. Of course not. And uh, <laughs> he's... Uh, like froze your podcasting is froze oh is it oh it's probably going to an ad or something uh, but he says his third interview was he was upstairs sleeping he heard a car pulling outside so he loaded a gun come downstairs now i don't know about you but i hear a fucking car in my driveway the first thing i don't run for is a gun right right you know? yeah it's <laughs> mental <laughs> yeah so, and he's got a huge german shepherd that's very ferocious that's like his guard dog because he's a fucking wuss I mean, he does. He wouldn't answer the door. He let the dog answer the door. Right, right. Now he's got the dog locked upstairs for some odd reason tonight, which the dog isn't even allowed upstairs. So no, when I went there allowed. tonight. The dog was locked upstairs. So his third statement was: he went to the door. He went downstairs. The door got kicked open. He yelled, "Stop! I've got a gun!" Then started shooting, and then the guy ran at him and tackled him. <clears throat> Wow. That was his third statement. <laughs> Holy shit. So he's got three different statements by three different cops. And, and not one of them says that, hey, I was hanging out with this guy uh, right, the whole night. The, the third statement says, yeah, I was out with him all night. We oh, he did? We in Prescott, and uh, I left, but I didn't know they were coming to get the keys. Yeah, and that's the bullshit. The officers know nothing about these text messages. Right, right. They don't know at the time. I mean, do they know now? They know now, yes. They know now that... You know what I mean? But they weren't going to submit him to court because they don't want to charge him. Wow. My lawyer had to put it in <laughs> under our evidence. You know? Right, and right. They got me for criminal mischief, which means criminal mischief charge is you go somewhere to break the law. Right. The intent was to break the law when you went there. So they're technically not trying to to say you were trying to burglarize, but criminal right. mischief, you were trying to start some shit, basically. Well, and you... say, that's, that's the criminal mischief charge, which means you went somewhere to break the law. But I got criminal trespass, which means I went somewhere that I wasn't invited to. Mm. Oh, wow, well, that's automatically out the door. And right, well, now I've got the text message that says I was invited. Right, right, for sure. You got me for assault because I tackled <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing funny about it, but that is funny. That's, that's fucked crazy. Up. That's, that's reaching, man. I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? See, yeah. you, you mean this guy like hurt somebody and it startled him enough to get the gun, and he went downstairs without turning on the lights, where he would oh, obviously yeah, no, no, the whole place was black. He, he, he admitted to the officers the whole place was black, so he didn't, wow. he didn't even have a clue of the door. Now I'm mean, upstairs and I hear somebody else have a door. First thing I'm doing is turning on my fucking light. Hell yes. Yeah. 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 Especially if I have at. a gun. I want to see who it is and I want to yeah. know where the fuck they are. What if my mom? You know? <laughs> what if it's a fucking what? You know? Jesus. If it, if it, if it warrants you know, getting a gun. The first thing you're gonna do is turn on the fucking light. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Right. Call, that's like an instinct. You're not gonna want to sneak around your house when you think there's a burglar in there with a light. Right. Right. Let's see right. If I can catch him this way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can just start fucking. Let's see if I can find him in the dark. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. So, and even if it even if it did happen as he like he he says that that you busted in the door. Well, I don't care who it is, dude. The first thing a person is going to do is dial nine one one at that moment while they're already upstairs, safe. You know what I mean? No, safe with a gun. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, exactly. You know, you got, the last you thing you're going to do is come downstairs and you got come. A German in. Shepherd locked in the door. <laughs> yeah. With you. That'd be the second thing. I would have called nine one one and let the dog out. 
<laughs> hey, a mean German Shepherd. Right. Mm. That is fucking nuts. I don't go home and go to bed in my fucking clothes that I went out with all night. Right, you know, right. I've been known to pass out in them a few times, but, right, but I <laughs> love walking up to bed. I mean, yeah. Oh. On fucking real, dude. So now they got me for assault for tackling. So what? So, so what's happening with the now? The, there's another thing with this. Uh, is the fucking the the bullshit with with like probation that you're on now, and they're trying to fucking finagle a system basically even right. though you're going to beat they, all this they found a loophole that my lawyer said he's never seen before now my lawyer it's, and he admitted to me and he goes it's hard for a defense attorney to look at his client and say I want to take this to trial because I know I've got him beat he says just from the text messages alone not counting the witnesses that were in the car with you on two different phones two different sets of text messages you know he goes I've got him beat right says, absolutely now, what they're trying to do, which they are doing, I've got to go to court next month, is they're trying to get me for a violation of probation due to the charges. Right. See, I've now, heard about it before. I've never seen it put in play. Okay, well, 99% of all probation charges with new criminal charges in the state of Maine are all done on the same court date. Yeah. You go in. If you're found guilty of the charges, then you're found guilty of the violation of probation. Right, right, because that's automatic. Because then you've been convicted of that charge, right. and now um, you're violating. Black and white. That's right. Black and white. Oh. What so to what they're trying is they're trying to, well, they're not trying, they're doing it. They're taking me to court first for violation of probation with the charges hanging over my head. And so, knowingly, which my lawyer says that's why they're doing it, knowingly I'm going to beat the charges in the end. Right. Um, oh, so they're trying to get real. me for violation of probation with the charges so that after I do go to court, I'll already be sentenced for the violation of probation. Right, and there's no one doing that. Right, there's no one doing it. Once you're sentenced, <laughs> you're sentenced. No violation of probation, you violated it. Fuck, Christ. Now, am so, I dr- guilty of drinking a few beers on probation? Yeah. Absolutely. But that's like 30 days tops. Yeah. You know? Maybe fucking 30 days, wow. 60 days. That's, it's usually not even that. I mean, realistically, <laughs> for the first time drinking... Right. That's usually like, don't do it again. AMHC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, they make you go to fucking substance something. Account. Yeah. Well, well, here's my Wait. question: Is this your first time like violating? So. Yeah, no. you've only been out like a few months, right? I got out July 31st. So this is your first time violating, quote unquote, right? I can't really hear. Oh, right? sorry. Well, you got to talk more over here for that. It's the yeah. first time that uh, you've violated, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so it should be no more than 30 days. Yeah, no, I've never right. seen anybody do more than like seven or something. Yeah. For that. Somebody doesn't like you, dude. Uh, well, sucks. <laughs> well, here's here's the other thing, though. The, the Now, when, when they're saying they're violating you, they're going to take you to court and they're going to violate you for the charges. Are right. they Are they specifically violating you for the charges of whatever it was, criminal mischief or yeah. whatever it was? Yeah. They're not violating you for like the the drinking some beers. They're going They're for violating the, me for drinking alcohol while on probation. Well, that but no criminal charges. Also, That's the other violating. criminal charges that you're just under investigation for, but you're not. You've been only been charged with. You haven't been convicted. I just been charged. I just got indicted on fucking Tuesday. Uh, uh, wow, they even made it through an Tuesday. indictment. Huh? They made it through an indictment with they, the text yeah, messages and everything. They, they get it. My lawyer said in his exact words, quote for quote. They can indict a ham sandwich for anything. Well, it's true. They yeah. do. I mean, it's they do. <laughs> yeah, but they can still, though, for anything. still, maybe, I don't know, maybe the people... And now, the people on the, on the jury, the people on the, the uh, indictment committee are telling right. the story that I went to his house. I mean, there's no defense lawyer there to argue it. It's just straight... Yeah, jury. yeah, it's just, here's the stuff that we have on and it. Here's and... the basics of it. He went to the house, kicked the fucking door, and he got shot. Right. That's what but they didn't... Well, I guess I, I guess that maybe kind of has to go to to a trial, but as soon as you, as soon, the here. first day you get yeah. a trial, it's done. It's immediate. Hey, look, he fucking called me, told me to come over, and he had a, a gun waiting. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking simple, you know. Well, like he was just mentioning, right? right? But when you go to court for violation of probation, you don't go in front of a jury; you go in front of a judge. Right. Yeah. And it's just pretty much you against the world. It's, then it's black and white. They're, they're, did you violate or didn't you? Well, did I violate? Yes, for drinking. Absolutely. Yes, that's yeah. And really, in that respect, it's not really even black and white because they're going to say, "Well, did you violate?" Well, yeah, 
but I didn't murder somebody either. You know what I mean? It's not, it, it's fucking apples and oranges, drinking a little bit and fucking breaking and entering. Right. That's a right. totally well, I mean, different if, thing. If I kicked the door in and they believe it, why wouldn't they charge me with breaking and entering? Well, that's what I'm... Yeah. Well, worst yet, home invasion. Yeah. He was sleeping, the lights were yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. That's automatic I think, home invasion. I think what they're trying to do is trump up a charge just enough to get violation of probation because they know they wouldn't well, be able to do it just now, drinking. Why, why I got the criminal mischief and criminal trespass, which I think, which I haven't got a chance to test with my lawyer, I've got four priors of each one of those charges. It doesn't yeah. matter, dude. It doesn't but matter. I mean, you could have 50 petty priors. criminal trespass, like I was sitting on the, the library bench right, and was told to leave after hours and went back the next night and I got arrested for criminal trespass. <laughs> oh my God. Right. I was sitting on the steps in front of Food Trend. Remember what everybody used to say? Oh, yeah. I got a criminal trespass. Holy God. After it was posted. On fucking real, dude. They can so now they're trying to violate me, yeah. and the district attorney wants full violation, ten years. T- ten uh, years on fucking real. Wow, dude. Long. Just for the violation of probation, he says, "Well, I'm going to make you a plea bargain, a one-time deal." He says, "You go in and plead guilty to the violation of probation. I'll give you ten years, and I'll run your charges concurrent." <laughs> Right, yeah, I know, you, I know, yeah, wow, those charges, wow. those awesome uh, 60 days, uh, you're going to run that concurrent, super thanks, appreciate that. Right, you know, I mean, what I was, <laughs> all the charges I got are all misdemeanors, if you were to go out and do the same charges tomorrow, you'd get misdemeanors. Yeah. And are felonies, because I've got a couple priors of each. Right, 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 yeah, I and see what you're only saying. only one felony, it's only criminal trespass of the felonies, class C. Right? Even if they were, that's, what kind of deal is that? That's a fucking shit. That's a big bag of shit deal. We were, we were talking I mean, about I this. I think kind of the judge notices a little bit what's going on. And yeah. I think he kind of noticed it last time what happened. You know, like my lawyer told me last time when I got sentenced. He goes, you're not being sentenced on this crime right here. You're being sentenced on all the crimes you got away with. And they know about it. It's personal shit. Well, yeah. Wow. Personal wait, wait your lawyer sense. said that? Yeah. To last time when I got sentenced for 10 years. Wow. And what everybody doesn't know was the last time I got sentenced to 10 years, my plea bargain was three years, all suspended, 18 months, two years probation. That was my plea bargain. Mm. And I told the packet. Really? That was my plea bargain. So they had to give me 10. Holy shit. Wow, dude. So, so what? So yeah, the, your court date's coming up in like a month or so. Uh, yeah, next month. So what the fuck happens with that? I mean, do your well, your lawyers. Lawyer, I, I know your lawyer. Your lawyer's a good lawyer. He's uh, a very good lawyer. So, I mean, does what does he got to say to you? Is is as he think you're gonna he fucking? Says, he says the violation of probation. He goes, it's completely on the judge. He goes, if he believes your story, and he believes you didn't violate the way the district attorney is saying it, he says then. You make I think that's... He says, or you make it the whole time. That's pretty cut and dry, though. I think, I mean, if you really just go in and say, look, you know, uh, you know, keep me on house arrest if you want, but I don't just, house arrest. That's right, that's right, that's the other ridiculous thing. Like, you, it just like makes you're no the sense. danger. Yeah, you're the danger. That. You got shot seven yeah. times, you're the danger. Got to keep you, you off the streets. I'm looking out the door and I'm looking at his house. He's my neighbor. <laughs> right? Holy fuck, no. he still I'm lives there? Right now, he's not, he's not in jail. At his, I'm out looking at his, street, his yard light. He's not in jail. Oh, he never got no charges at all. Nothing. None. Nothing. No and reckless endangerment. He stole the car. He stole the car from Prescott. <laughs> you know I mean, he had the keys, but he still stole it. He didn't have permission to take it. Right. He admitted to driving drunk. There was no breathalyzer on him. There was no drug test on him after he fucking shot me. They weren't looking to fuck him over. Yeah, pretty much, dude. They were looking I mean, to fuck you they, over. He admitted that he took the car without permission. Wow. He never got nothing for that. He they weren't there for that. Home drunk. He never got nothing for that. And now, he's pretty much bragging that he got away with shooting me. Holy and the fuck. reason why he's doing it, like I said, is the first investigating officer is a very close friend of his family. Wow. It's it's the good old boy system, man. That's what it yeah. is up here. It's the good old boy system. I know your daddy, so we're going to take care of you. It's that I mean, and simple. It, and if I could play the interview with you he even, all he had to say was right Sheldon you just say right right the cop was coaching the whole thing answering it and then Sheldon said yeah that's how it happened yeah right so basically just gave him a multiple choice 
quiz. So, <laughs> yeah. he, in, he walked up and he kicked in your door, right? He didn't ask him, well, what happened? Well, the guy walked up and kicked in my door. Oh, and wow. He, he Was that on tape? Door, right? And what really got the police me thinking of all this, of why it's happened the way he is, he says, and is this where he tackled you? And Sheldon says, yes. He says, well, that was a stupid mistake on his part, huh? Holy fuck! Right on tape, I got it. Wow. Uh, and Sheldon started crying. I don't need this shit right now. I don't know what, uh, what happened. I don't know why he's out here. And the cop put his arm around his shoulder, and he wrote it in the statement. I went out, put my arm <laughs> around him to console him, and it's on the tape. It says, Sheldon, this man kicked in your door and attacked you. He goes, You're, he's lucky he is still breathing. Holy shit. Don't you worry, murderer. Yeah. You're okay. Wow. Holy fuck, man. Holy yeah, so fuck. Like, I, I really, I guess, I hope the judge hears it. Well, it, well they will. That, cause that's well, my lawyer says we'll present everything. You know what yeah, I mean? fuck. I can't just go in there and say, yeah, man, whatever. I was drinking. Yeah, please I'll believe me. charges too. Just let it go away. You know, I can't right. Do no, no. Yeah, give him every guilty, fucking bit. What's that? I'm guilty, I'll admit I'm guilty. Yeah, fuck, same here. I mean, I've been, I've had several, several fucking run-ins with the law way, way yeah. back, and every time I was, if I'm guilty, I'm guilty, but if I ain't, I am fucking that fucking shit tooth and nail, and that has happened really zero times for me, but <laughs> but this no, one for like you. My last time. Is, what's that? Like my last time, same thing, you know? Yeah, I was yep. fucking guilty on that. Everybody in the town now knows, you know, right? now that I'm back out and people can see oh, fucking believe what's me. really going on, and this is ridiculous, though. This is crazy ridiculous. Because yeah. you get all this shit. It's so obvious. Any, what I really think, I mean, is it is it really like the the DA like pushing this? Or I mean, yeah, it, the DA. The DA really, when I first went to court before I had an attorney, back in November, the DA stood up and he looked at the judge and he says, Your Honor, now I'm out on $50,000 surety bail, house arrest. Jesus. <laughs> I believe... I, I was at the time. I was on 50,000 surety house arrest. I could only leave to go to and from medical appointments because I was running to the fucking doctors three times a week because I got fucking shot seven times. Right. You know? And uh, he says, we feel Mr. Crouch needs a cash bail on top of this because we think he might run where he has so much time over his head. Where are you going to go? The judge looked at me and he looked back at the district attorney and he says, but he's standing right here. He goes, he showed up for court. Yeah. Yeah, well, we still need a cash bail. And the judge says, I'm denying that. He goes, he's here. He showed up for court. Yeah. Now, I went to court this Tuesday that just passed for pretty much my indictment. And, uh, we had the original judge that's up here. And the DA stood up again. He says, well, we feel Mr. Crouch needs a cash bail. I tried to address it with the last judge, and he wouldn't address it. Well, that's bullshit. It's right on record. Oh, wow. Court. He's So he's playing mom and dad. Yeah. And I put a motion in have some of my bail conditions amended so I can go to work. You know, I got lawyer fees. I got right. hospital fees. I got counseling fees where I'm taking counseling because they want me to do relapse prevention and some bullshit, and I'm doing it. Right. So the judge just looked at the DA and looked at me and says, I see you want to go to work. And I said, yeah. And he goes, all right, I'm going to grant you permission to go to and from work. He never addressed the DA's request. He never answered him. He never denied him. The DA was so mad that he walked out. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So now this isn't Amberger, right? This is another no, guy. Is Pluto. Oh. I, I, yeah, I've, I've never heard of him. I, I think I, I went in there one time. They were trying to trump me up some fines, like way back. This is like ten years ago, dude. And uh, I had paid my fines like six or seven years before, in full. Went to every single office in that building and made sure all my shit was paid. And like five, six years later, dude, I get a letter as soon as I move back into town. They fucking. Oh, we, uh, you owe us seventeen hundred dollars. I'm like, fuck no. I called them right up. I don't owe you anything. And oh, we'll, we'll we'll check it out and get back to you. And they they come back. Oh yeah, you only owe us eight hundred. No, uh, you didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> you know, three times they had to go through that. And at the end of it, I still they still were demanding that I owed them like four hundred bucks. I'm like, no, you fucking assholes. I I don't owe you shit. You know? well, my lawyer really can't figure out. What I guess has got me confused too is when we pulled in the driveway, we pulled up right in front of the front door. Both girls watched me walk up and walk into this house. Both girls gave their statements. Mark walked up, the outside light was on. He walked into the house like he always does. 
Right. So how does kicking the door come in to where you have two eyewitnesses? Yeah. You know? Was it was yeah. Chad there too? Chad was yeah, he was there, but he wasn't very coherent. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he never really is. <laughs> he never even knew what was happening until after the fact. Chad, you know? if you're watching, I'm just joking, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 he never even knew what happened after the fact. Right, right. You know, he was, he was, he was at, which, whatever. You know, I, I would never call him as a witness, and the state would never call well, him. Well, yeah, if, it's, if he's, a, if it's a, yeah, if he wasn't really aware of what was, I mean, clear, he was drunk, basically. If he was, yeah, so uh, now I got both these girls on my behalf with statements, with cell phone records, with text messages records from him texting her all night long. You know, oh, and I guess what, what really made me wonder why you're doing this is while I was in Bangor in ICU, he showed up there. He drove all the way down there. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Now, of course, I'm fucking mad. Yeah, I like, just I, hold on. I, I just I just saw this out of the corner of my eye as soon as you said that. But Brian and I both went, "What?" <laughs> so I, told, I, had a, I had a room full of people there, and I said, "Do not let him in this fucking room." Uh, I wouldn't see him. Unbelievable. So now, I don't know why he showed up there. And I kind of wish now I would have let him come in the room. Oh, see, fuck, I would see what he well, see what he had to say. I, right, I, maybe things would have went different. Maybe, maybe he would have walked in. You know, we would have talked. Maybe I said, "Look, Sheldon, you know, you tell the truth." So you know, I got a lot of shit hanging over my head. You tell the truth, you know, man, I would never, ever put you in jail. Well, yeah, yeah. If you told the truth, he'd probably do day, time. Still to this day, if he got up there and said, no, it didn't happen like that. Right. I would walk up and I would stand. Once my charge was dismissed, I'd say, you know what? He didn't shoot me either. I walked in this house. Somebody shot me, ran out by me. Right, right. Or at the very least, just kind of go to bat for him. Look, he doesn't well, deserve man, what I, you're yeah, trying you know, to give him. I would him. never get up on the stand and testify against him. Right. Never. Well, I, regardless. like my brother. Yeah, but regardless, if if, if 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 it was found out what he was saying was bullshit, they would get him for a perjury. Or, oh yeah, they get they. I mean, they he'd get be him. facing something regardless if you change your story too. But what's ridiculous is that they're not even a, a, a willing to concede the even the idea that right. the, that this is the way it happened. I mean, and clearly, that's the way it happened. Like I said, and it's not my story against his story. No, it's, it's just facts against facts. That were all interviewed while I was in ICU, and they were interviewed. Completely different times and completely different places. With the same interview. Both have the same story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's word got word. and he's got Not three different places, you. but one person and, and all different stories. And, and, and you, know, you just people, haven't had a chance. Four different stories, and that okay, it's hard to believe. But you got three of all the same stories. Right. And those those two girls wanted to call in tonight, but of course I'm tying up the phone. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. So like, they wanted to call in and say, yeah, you know, this is the way it really we're low, did happen. We're low budget here. <laughs> <laughs> But, that is uh, fucking crazy, dude. I think when I uh, hang up, I think one or both of the girls might give a call. Oh, yeah. Fuck with. yeah. Tell them to, for sure. I well, mean, anybody well, else that ever wants to call in on, on the show, I, I, I always appreciate that. I know, I know we would love somebody to call in. Uh, 551-7678. <laughs> if anybody wants to give a buzz in, uh, please wait until you see that there is uh, nobody on the phone, though. Um, right. But, yeah. Wow, dude. That's fucking insane. So that guy, I mean, he pretty much just has it out for you. But what I don't understand, this is the thing that we were talking about this earlier, and it doesn't make any sense for, like, the DA or or the group of people that are in the DA's office. I don't know who's really the one going gung-ho on your ass like this, but it ends up being, there's their whole job is supposed to be, like, fucking, we're here to uphold the law, make sure people don't get hurt. Uh, you know, and and do what's right. You know, just justice, all that bullshit, right? Mm -mm. Not so and, much. But that's yeah, that's that's exactly the opposite in this case. It, it seems to me. I mean, they're not looking for the truth. No, they're just looking to put. They're looking to get you out of here. Right. They're just looking. Hey, man, this is Mark Crouch, and I admit I've built a fucking name. Uh, yeah, town, yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone's got a history, so dude. That's the number one thing I could say, dude, is any preconceived notions you, anybody might have about Mark Crouch or me or anybody else or John or Brian or yeah. anybody, drop that shit and just pay attention to the current situation, no matter what. Even if somebody thinks you're a total asshole, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you're really getting fucked over yeah. <laughs> here right now, you know? They've already taken 10 years of my life, now they want to take another Yeah, yeah, yeah. They expect I mean, me to get out and be an upholding citizen at 
freaking 45 years old. Well, the other the other thing that really is weird is that they have a no drinking thing on your on your probation. That's not a I mean th- that kind of is a standard thing that they do, but it just doesn't make any sense. I you're you didn't you didn't get an OUI, right? You never had no. I mean, to, that's not what you went what you're on probation for. You didn't no. do anything. I mean, anything that you're going to do is not going to be done just because you're drinking. You know what I mean? It, like, it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're a grown adult and you can't have a beer. It just makes no sense. Mm. I could yeah. see, you know, it, you know, if they catch you with anything illegal, do anything illegal, I, I would understand that, I guess, to some degree. But it just makes no sense, the no drinking thing. It's, it's almost like that's put in place to make sure that they can get you when they want. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Like, uh, well, you well, know, he, he was caught drinking. That I'm not allowed to go into my family's business. That's even worse, yeah. And you can't even have a job at the one place you would always have a job. Right, you know, you know? I, mean, I could go to work tomorrow, but that, and that wasn't the judge's saying. That was the probation officer. Oh, oh man. The judge didn't care. The judge See, then that's... Me, I mean, I could go work there tomorrow, the judge, but the probation officer, the judge says, you're going to go find work, but I would kind of like it to be your probation officer who agrees to it. Wow. See, I don't... I, that's One of the a, girls just messaged me. She says, I am watching, <laughs> and I will call him as soon as you're done. Kick ass. Cool. But yeah, the uh, the thing with that the, the drinking thing, I, I could understand it maybe if you... Uh, if if you uh, were constantly if you were in if you were on probation for getting like ten OUIs rapid fire in a couple of years and you're just always getting OUIs you're always getting fucked up and driving maybe it's understandable then that they would want to have a no drinking clause because we don't want to catch you after you got in a wreck we want to stop you before right. but when you're not when you're not on probation for anything that's really alcohol related I mean it just doesn't make any sense dude well I mean, no, they kind of threw that in there knowing that. Knowing that you like to drink. Family owns a bar and restaurant. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't, dude? I mean, right, you know, like, the worst is is that it's like I was saying that, that that's just a way to bust you when really you shouldn't be busted. You know, right. if it it's understandable if you got fucked up and you got in a bar fight and kicked the shit out of somebody and broke shit everywhere. Okay, then maybe you can get in trouble for that. Out of but, control. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But somebody but, who has ten years over their head would not be wanting to go. Yeah, get exactly. Up and cause shit. You want to go have a couple beers and you had a DD, you, you know, you yeah, doing a smart shit. Like we were. Getting a cab. Responsible. Not getting behind a wheel. That sounds responsible. Sounds to me. fucking pretty upstanding. Right. Wow. <laughs> fucking, no, yeah. it's all about the probation officer's eyes. Right, right. I mean, oh, the those guys. I, That's pretty much a lesson to the DA. I mean, to the probation officer. Right, yeah, yeah. right. I mean, most I, I, there, there's they're like any group of people, dude. Sometimes there's some really they're cool the same, ones. They're all the same town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, sometimes there can be a cool one here and there, and then other ones they're just fucking power trip. You know. No, I mean, I usually don't give respects out to that side of the law, but I have to say that both judges that I've dealt with so far on this right. matter have seen, I guess. Any other time, if this would have happened to me, and I'd have been guilty, and I don't know to my heart that I was guilty, every time the DA would have stood up and asked for something, the judge would have granted it. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been there too. I've been there too a long now time. The, of... kind of, the judge is kind of not agreeing with some of the things. Yeah, because like, this is work and stuff. Right, right. There's a so little. I'm kind of hoping that it's not just me and the whole freaking town of Caribou that sees what's going on. Yeah. Right. Well, that's that's one of the big reasons I don't want to have you on because I, on on the podcast because I, I heard I heard about like. Just not even what it was a couple of weeks before this. Uh, you and Judy were we, we were having barbecue out, out behind the house there, and uh, it, was, it wasn't a couple of weeks, probably like a month or two. I, it, but uh, right after that, I, the first thing I heard was that uh, through the grapevine, not from anybody who was there or anything. But the first thing I heard is, "Oh, Mark got shot, and he was breaking into somebody's house." It's the first thing I heard. That's the first now, rumor that came out. Yeah. yeah, it's the first thing that popped out there in the ether, you know. And right. I'm like, what? And it was only because now, if I would have been somebody that that didn't really know you, just only heard of you, I would have believed it instantly. Oh, okay, that's the mo. You know what I mean? That's that's that Mark Crouch, bad kid, this and that. But the only reason I didn't even say that is because I knew you, and I was like, wow, he just got out after ten years. Mm. There's no fucking way. Recently, <laughs> just, just, yeah, just got, just got, got out. Older. I, I've never broken into any place. Well, that's just it. That's just it, too. That was the other thing that I was thinking, too. I was like, that's not what he does. And not if not he ever did, I've never even stole so much of a piece of fucking candy. Right, right, right. 
the 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 only thing uh, that I that I've ever seen you do is just get get shit faced and have a good time and maybe get right, a little yeah, raucous, you know. Right. <laughs> you need to break into somebody's fucking house. Or yeah. Uh, look at his house. There's nothing in it. Right. <laughs> yeah, like he's got a fancy TV or a computer or something. Right. Or right. He's got an old fucking big floor model TV that. But that's that's what the crazy part about it is that the it doesn't even fit. You know what I mean? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It, there's no reckless endangerment with a firearm. Nothing. Nothing right. at you all. Know, I, I, I understand why there's nothing on his part. I, I really do. You know, he's his family is pretty tight in with that sort of crowd well yeah the, I mean the definitely but yeah I, but evidence is evidence yeah evi- I'm, you know and, and what I guess well, it needs nobody to be knows about my mother which you are probably mad for throwing her into it <laughs> when she was at the hospital the sheriff walked up to her and said what are you doing here and my mother was like what the fuck you mean what am I doing here <laughs> yeah and, that's yeah that's and Tammy <laughs> the, the cop goes the cop goes well how did you find out so fast and I didn't know at the time, but Judy wanted to call my mother from Sheldon's house, and Sheldon wouldn't let her use the phone. So this she was, had to walk down the road, which is right next door. Or call, I'm sorry, Stephanie drove her right down the road, right next door. Right. To come get my mother. So. This is when you got shot, or this is before? Yeah, this is when right. I got shot. So when you got shot. Oh, wow. She wouldn't let okay. her use the phone to call my mother to say that I was shot. So wow. Sheldon wouldn't let her use the phone. So then my mother gets to the hospital, and the cop's like, what are you doing here? How'd you hear about it so quick? And my mother's like, well, Judy and Stephanie come and got me. And his words were, he didn't say, well, he's doing all right. You know what I mean? How are you doing? He says, well, I hope Sheldon's mother, which he used her first name, I hope she hasn't heard about it yet. I don't want to deal with her tonight. Was what he said to my mother. Well, that's a big concern. Wow. Yeah. He right. says, I hope Gloria didn't hear about this yet because I really don't want to deal with her tonight. Wow. It seems like their attitude from the beginning was, we got the perk. Yeah, know? yeah, we got him. He did it. You know? Good job. <laughs> job well done, boys. <laughs> that sucks. Listen, I it's... I don't know. I guess... I mean, the judge sees the right in it. Well, I bet, you, I bet you, too, even... I mean, you know, even uh, even if there's any preconceived bullshit in, in like, any cop's brains or any, in, you know, anybody else on the fringe, you know, like, obviously the DA is out to get you no matter what. And maybe the probation officer too. Who knows? But eventually, that list of people is going to run pretty short. And eventually, they're like they're going to look at the fucking shit and go, "What? Yeah. This doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, Why would awesome. he be texting him, telling him to come on in? You yeah, know? Come get him. <laughs> yeah, come get him. I mean, not you know? just one. I've, I've got. Oh yeah, several. Nine to thirteen messages to me, and then there's like eight or nine on her phone. Yeah, and so, I didn't know who it was. So and he busted my door. You haven't had an opportunity to present your evidence just yet. No. So I, I think they're cut and dry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a for fact sure. for when sure. You go to, when you go to probation violation, yeah, it's cut and dry for the charges, which I'm not right. scared of one bit. I'm not scared of the charges. Right. Cut You're scared of getting charges. violated on the now, charges. For probation violation, it's not a preponderous upon reasonable doubt. That's mm. not what it is. It's did you violate or didn't you? Right. Now, did you violate? To the extreme where it deserves ten years, it right? Goes on yeah. that type of scale. Mm. There, so, so basically, what they're kind of ending up doing is they're they're violating you probably technically for drinking, which which you you admit, yeah, I was drinking, but that's none of the other they shit should be doing right. But that's and not then ten they're, years. Right but then there. they're basically taking your your violation for drinking and saying, yeah, and look at the crazy situation that surrounds it, but right. it doesn't have anything to do with you. It, right. You didn't have anything to do with that situation. You were just in the fucking situation. <laughs> you, you know, it's not like you brought it to the table. Right. Man, and they're I trying to. A million years, this guy would have shot me. You know what I mean? Right. No. Who the fucking known? Your best well, friend. Best friend. I'm not talking just an associate. <laughs> I'm not talking a friend. You know. I'm right. Best, since I've been out of jail, we've been together every day. Appreciate it. Oh, I, I would know your. I would know oh, your so well. You know, we've been right. together every day. Well, that's it. Like, like Brian and I were just saying, you probably can't really hear me again. But like, say I walked into Brian's house at nighttime, he would know who the hell I am. He can recognize my right. silhouette. So this guy should know who you are. Yeah, man. You, he, uh, he knows who I am. That's what I'm saying. I just can't get him to admit it. Especially well, if, if, if he acknowledged you right when you came in, you kicked in my door. Oh, so, yeah, that's, that's even worse. That's my story versus his story. Oh, right, right. Because he's not saying that. He's, he's not admitting that. Right. 
Fuck he him. He's not a that conversation took place. He's admitting that he would come running down the stairs in the dark and got tackled from behind. I probably wow. shouldn't say anything. I'll would, the next one. Like, like everybody thinks, why would you come running down the stairs in the middle of the dark? Right. Yeah. Turn on a damn light. Especially if you have a gun. What if, if you trip if and bust if your if ass? If you're scared enough to grab a gun, light up your house. It does, yeah. at, the you end, at the end of the day, though, I mean, none of his story even matters mm-hmm. because you no. got the text messages, dude. That's all. It, it, the that's the nail messages. in the coffin for him. But, like I said, I've got the charges under control. You know, I've got right. The charges under it's just control. a matter but of. I don't have under control. The violation of probation. The violation of probation. Before I get to address the charges, you should just ask for a continuance. Just say, "Look, okay, you want to violate me on these charges? Go for it. But wait until I get convicted of them first. And, you know, and that's what we shot for. And the district attorney has found this loophole. Fuck. So they they can just violate you because you get charged. Right. That's what they're doing. New criminal conduct. Do, what? What is it? New criminal conduct. New criminal conduct. Here's even my though. Conduct. You end up getting it proved that you no new criminal conduct. Right. That's why they fucking want to do douchebag. I think, in my lawyer admit, <laughs> that's why they want to do it first. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Fuck I've got yeah. The charges wrapped up. Here's my question. Right. It is the DA that's trying to get this violation and not the probation officer. The probation officer hasn't said too much to me. I mean, I've done everything he says I could. And when I told him I wanted to go in front of the judge to get work, he had no problem with it. Hmm. So, but actually, you know. isn't the I don't know how that. Yeah, I don't know how that works. It's a good point that you brought up. I don't know how that works either. It's got to be one of the two that's pushing it. Right. It can't be pushing for full rev. So it's the DA. Fuck him. Put in a motion for something for an impartial DA, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. And you, you're not gonna get it in a small town. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, yeah but I'm like char- to sequester this jury. We're not on Law and Order. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. but, but when you're city with a district attorney that's never seen me before, it's only got my file in front of him. Yeah. A lawyer who's never going to see the judge again, probably. That's true. You know what I mean, it is not afraid to fight with the judge and the DA. Well, it's not and, the judge you're worried about. Kind of trial. Yeah, it's not the judge you're worried about. It's just the DA. The DA is a shitbag. Right. So. Well, I got to understand if the judge is going to side with him or not. Right, right, so right. I seriously doubt. They're going to look at that. That's what heinous. The fuck? That's what are you totally talking heinous. about? Yeah. Yeah, it was a fucked up situation, but he didn't have nothing to do with it. Why aren't you bringing up charges on this other guy when you got these fucking text messages? As he should. When you got three witnesses. Yeah, he huh, should be attempted real. murder, dude. That was pre-fucking meditating. Oh, no, he admitted in his interviews that he was aiming for the legs the whole time. Now, even you, then, even then. So it's was, attempted... Would, um, he said what that was the end of the interview. How would you aim for the legs the whole time if you were tackled from behind and you were wrestling with Yeah. Him? And what? in the dark. What was the weapon you got shot with? What kind of gun? A twenty two Magnum. Uh, motherfucker. I got one in the stomach. Awful aim. Part of my lower intestine. I got one in the top left leg, which severed a major artery. That's why they had to life light me to Bangor because they couldn't stop bleeding in my left leg. Jesus. So they had to cut the right leg open to take an artery out of there to replace it in the left leg. <sighs> I got two in the top of the right leg. I got one in the top of your calf in the right leg that went down, hit the tibia bone, broke it, ricocheted, the what? and tibia. it's now oh. laying behind the ankle bone. Wow. Which they want to try to take out next week. I got one in the pelvic, which is still there, and then I got one that just grazed my arm. Oh. So are you physically what? mobile? Can you get up and move around? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm back fine. The only thing is... My right foot, where the bullet is all tangled around the nerves, is still in there. Was it numb or something? It feels like, like it's sleeping. Right, right. They yeah, said they were going to try and take that out. What's that? They were going to try and take that out, though, you said? Well, they, I went to a, a neurologist a couple weeks ago, and she says that my the nerves are so entangled around the bullet that the bullet ripped all the nerves going down through that it couldn't hurt. Wow. But you mean it couldn't hurt to take it out, and right. if it might, you might get feeling back, you might not. No harm, no foul. Right. Yeah. They said at the rate it's going... My nerves are healing a millimeter a month. And now it's severed from the top of the calf all the way down to the ankle. So you're better off taking it out sooner than later then. Well, that's they said it's like fishing for a needle in a haystack when you're trying to find a bullet entangled in nerves. Yeah, without cutting all the nerves off. Right. now, Right now I've got full mobile nerves so I can move it, you know what I mean? All my motions are there. Mm. So now what happens if they go in there and hit one of those? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. they're discussing bullet in my pelvic bone is wedged to my pelvic bone they said I'll never have a problem with it <laughs> yeah but I, well I'd have a problem with it <laughs> I'd have a problem so with a bullet being in me go in there, get that one, because <laughs> you 
reason why they didn't get that one out is because there's no surgeon up here that could replace a major artery in my leg. Mm. So they wanted wow. to get my intestines fixed up here and then ship me to Bangor as quick as they could because my leg wouldn't stop bleeding. Wow, dude. Wow. Unfucking believable, dude. Yeah. Wow. And it, it, well, I, I'm sure by the time you get into court that that's going to end up coming out, obviously. You're going to get the text messages. You're going to get... Here, the crazy thing is, dude. If you listen to this story, and you condense it down, <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious, dude. There's, there's, what was there? Four, five people, four people, uh, five people. Just say five people. Uh, five people. That's wild. And one of them gets a gun. They're all in a dark room, and one of them gets a gun and shoots one other one seven times. And everybody says that guy fucking shot him. And the cops come and arrest the guy that got shot. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, dude. And, and the guy says, well, I didn't know who he was. I didn't yeah. know who he was. No, 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 it was yeah. him. Oh, and good right, job, sir. Really, you got him. <laughs> and, what's, and what's really messed up is why he's on the phone with the 911 officer. They're like, well, get a towel and put it on the, on the wound. He's like, yeah, I've got one on it. I'm holding it on it right now. You God, got that's even worse, dude. And you got to hurry up. We're losing him. I got one, though. I got one. I got a towel on the wound. That's the worst, man. And, and yeah, I got him. We're saving me. him. I'll do it. Fuck you know, that, dude. Uh, he wasn't nowhere near me. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unfucking believable. What I really don't get though is that they're not even checking to see. I mean, he's he's just living right up the road. You know, they really got all their cards out on this one. Yeah, they're laying them all in, dude. It's yeah, crazy. over a bunk hand, big time. Wow, dude. That is fucked right up, dude. Yeah, well, no shit. Well, though, we'll see, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I pretty much got no luck in the court of law, and I got ten years to prove it. Well, yeah, I never had any luck either, dude. I did about five off and on. Fuck, I had one good one at the very end, and but that was it. I you hope this one is. Got a paper that says, "Yeah, you go to jail for eighteen months." Right. We'll drop your charges down, and I took it to trial, so. Yeah. Right. And I should tell any spectators out there what kind yeah. of trial that was. Unreal. Well, listen, a lot of people don't understand the fact of if I'm guilty, I'm guilty. If I'm not, I'm not. Straight up. You know what well, I mean? Well, there's, yeah, because there's a lot of people who would just fight everything. Yeah, yeah. but right. just because I'm, you have I've a never past. Fought anything in my life. Yeah, exactly. You I'm know, the same way. You look at my record and anything I ever did, I just, whatever, <laughs> he got me. And, you know? And the last time I went to prison was my very first felony. Yeah. I've never been charged with a felony until the fucking last time. Right. right. Yeah, but I've just got, I've got four felonies on my record. Two from last time and two from this time. Unreal. Yeah, but just because you have a criminal past and, and Oh, I've got a fucking stack of misdemeanors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. If there's a misdemeanor out there that I haven't got charged with, I'd like to see it. Right. Crazy ass shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well that's that's exactly what I was saying earlier. I mean that, that's all you ever any amount of trouble that you've ever really been in has just been minor but it's been a lot of it that's all right uh, but it wasn't uh nothing right like now. this yeah but they're treating you like if charles manson got out if he ever got out they would like try to violate him on a jaywalking anything they can charge. do yeah yeah, yeah. oh i told yeah, you yeah. jaywalking uh, he, he wasn't good to be out here yeah and they do everything in their power to throw him back in yeah yeah that's what it seems but like. But just dude. because seems... you have a criminal past and just because well, you have a reputation doesn't. Why the DA wants full rev is because when I was first found guilty of these other charges after I took went to trial, the DA wanted no probation. He wanted me to do start to serve straight twenty. Uh -huh. so, oh. like, nah, 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 so it's no, a little old revenge or retribution, maybe. So yeah. now he wanted no probation before, so now he's probably trying to get full rev this time. Right. So, you know, well, probably... at the end of the day, there's no way they can get you on. I mean. It, I know what you're saying. They've got like a loophole, that, but that loop. I've heard, I've heard about that for years. That that's there. That you can be violated just on charges without having, even if you beat the charges. But yeah. I've never heard of it being enforced, though. I've always heard it was I've out there, but it. I've never I've, seen it happen. Oh, and I've been reading the newspaper the last four months since this happened, and I've seen one full revocation. Right. Most of it's all another like, burglary. Continue probation. Or, right. Right. Criminal right. Criminal charges. 90 days continue probation. Yeah, the only time you ever get violated with your full revocation is if you did this, usually the same thing that you went in for, you know what I mean? Right. Or, it's, or, or something big. Of them. Yeah, yeah. If you, get a, if you get convicted of a big felony or something. But it's always after you get convicted. It's never before. You don't get violated before. No, or during. They always, I've always seen them done during. 
Yeah, yeah. Trial, yeah, same thing. trial. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and they they that's why they do that run it concurrent or consecutive because they they decide that right then right. at that yeah, trial. You're doing it at the same time. Yeah. So, Fucking good. ridiculous, man. I I'm I'm pretty positive. I I would say like I'm like ninety percent positive. You'll skate on this. You'll probably wind up doing twenty days or something like that for the drinking. I hope so. And then they'll be watching you like a hawk. Just don't drink as much. <laughs> <laughs> I drink since that day, you know? Right? Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I wouldn't eat. I don't do drugs. And I think they know it. You know. Right. Like, right. Know. It's just the stigma yeah, associated right with the name. Just... Yeah, that's exactly exactly what it is. It's it's the stigma. They they once they get your name uh, in in the fucking pile, you know. Then, then it's just there forever. There's no escaping it. There's, I mean, I've been out of trouble for 10, 15 years now, and I still there's people out there. I remember, you remember when Chris Willett was still with us, right? Oh, yeah. I went, I went in uh, he when he was in for that last six months where they trumped up those charges on him. I was in there trying in the court trying to get a custodianship because they wouldn't let him go with his parents, and uh, because of, they were trying to accuse him of stealing his dad's pills or something, and and that's why they wouldn't want him in the house. So. Right. I'm trying to get him to be to come stay with me instead of being at the county waiting for trial. And they fucking the first thing they did, and, and I was telling him, I was like, "Yeah, I'd like to, to come live with me. I don't do drugs. I don't party. I don't. I I, I work, and he works for me. Uh, it's perfect, you know. And I can do this for him, and, to, and we can make payment arrangements on his old fines and shit like that. And uh, the first thing they do is they pull up my old criminal record. Dude, 15 years I've been out of trouble. Well, mm-hmm. Mr. Gustin has, uh, you know, eight uh, felony convictions, uh, burglary, theft, and even though it might be old, uh, we don't think that's the best choice. And it's like, well, well, fuck you, man. I straightened my whole fucking life out so I can have you drudge it all back up when I'm trying to do something cool, you know? <laughs> I, I think that was that same guy. I'm not sure. I can't say 100%. But I don't think hamburger has been around for a long time, right? No, I think he retired or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's this new guy, whatever his name, Pasco or whatever. Pluto. Pluto. Yeah. yeah. He's, the, he's the ADA. The ADA, right, assistant DA. Who, who's the real DA? Todd Collins. Todd Collins. Is that yeah. related to, like, the Sam Collins and all them? Oh, I don't know. Probably. I, I would imagine, right? <laughs> Fucking Susan I'm, I'm Collins. I'm sure. It's a big right? family, though. Unreal, dude. All right, yes. right, man. I just wanted to call in, give my story out. I know the girls, one of the girls just messaged me that they want to give a call in. Right, so. right. Appreciate it, dude. Hey, that was that was awesome, dude. It was kick ass yeah. having you on, man. I yeah, hope everything well, works out you for you. Doing a good job there, and uh, yeah, hang in there. Oh yeah, you too, man. Hey, we'll we'll keep cool. our eyes peeled. Let us know what happens with the whole court thing. Yeah, bro. I will. I'll check in with you guys next Sunday. Let you know what I found out. Cool, Mark. All right, dude. All right, Come guys, on, hang in there. All right, Later, man. Later, brother. That is fucking crazy, dude. Isn't it nuts? That is crazy. They're, they're, they're pushing. On like it's a personal vendetta. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. yeah, yeah. It's it's that's that Mark Crouch. We need to get yeah. him. Yeah, absolutely. Attempted know. suspicion of dude. Fuck yeah, yes. Attempted suspicion attempted of maybe suspicion possibly, possibly of. might have done it. Yes. You're guilty. Fuck him. <laughs> Listen, dude that shot him must not have played any GTA, right? Because he's horrible. He's that's a horrible uh, shot. Well, well, that's, I know. <laughs> that, that, well, thank God. <laughs> thank yes. God. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, we're glad or, that you're not dead, dude. Right. But Jesus, this guy needs charges. Like, bad. That's fucking nuts. That's premeditated, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me either that the cops didn't pick up on that. I, I, I read a case about a woman who shot her husband. She was down in the basement, and she heard her husband come home, and she waited at the bottom of the stairs. And shot him through the floor. And the cops immediately were like, um, that's your husband of uh, 15 years, and you didn't recognize his silhouette. Right, right. Voice, I remember that too, yeah. Right. You didn't presence. recognize who he was. He was probably so saying, immediately, honey. immediately, it, it's bizarre that the cops didn't pick up on that arriving. It's, you know, I bet you... they just went with Mark Crouch. Boom. Well, I bet... You know? I, I, I could almost... I could almost understand. I don't mean to disrespect Mark, but I could almost understand that preconceived notion. It's hard to, to get rid of that. It's kind of like the same way it's hard to get rid of the, the asshole cop thing in our heads sometimes. Like, yeah. oh, this guy's going to be a fucking asshole. Sometimes they're pretty cool. You know, it depends. But yeah. but it's it, it's already in our heads. I'm fucking pigs or whatever. You know, it's, yeah. it just rolls around in there. So I get that, that at first it could have been that. I, I understand that a little bit. I, I, I At least I'm not shocked by it. That they're siding with the guy who shot an intruder. They, that's the story he's telling. The full stories aren't fully in. I get it a little yeah. bit. But now that everything everything's been all out in the open about the text yeah. messages and everything else, and it's been a while, th- I'm sure I would bet that anybody involved besides obviously the DA and or probation officer, I'm not sure 
I'm, I'm sure the DA's pushing. I, I don't know about the probation officer. What's really weird is I think the DA doesn't decide. We got a phone call. Hello. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. I just I just got a message and I can't fucking. You just got a message. Oh it wait, it's really hard to read on the. You guys can all see this. No, but the fact of the matter, he pretty much said that the probation officer hasn't said a whole lot about it. So it's like DA has a hair across his ass, and it's the name thing, like you said. You know what I mean? The stigma's attached. But it's like so. unfinished business for the DA. Exactly. V for Vendetta. Yeah. That Sons is, of bitches. This is wild. And using our judicial system. Yeah. We the people. You know? Our judicial yeah. system up here is so fucking corrupt, dude. It All is, over the place. It's, it, you know. Good people versus bad people. Yeah. And just because you've had a, a bad past, just because you've done bad things, just because you've been to bad places, doesn't mean you're a bad person. Sometimes now. you have to. Oh, shit. You know? Doo doo. Boo-doo. Did my phone just turn off? Uh, no, that was like a USB unplugging. What I, the fuck? That's what that sounded like. What'd you kick? Did I just lean it back and unplug it? Or uh, you must unplug the uh, the the battery thing. Is it under your seat? Is that still plugged in? Yeah, whole thing's still plugged in. Doo doo. Funky. Music. Still streaming live. But yeah, uh, it's, it's it's really ridiculous that that's the situation going it's on. It's heinous. Listen, Mark, I forgot to mention this while you were on the phone, if you're still listening. I, I'm not sure about it. I haven't done a whole lot of research into it, but look into the Hope and Justice Project, too, man, because they're all about yeah. fucking trying to keep people out of jail that don't deserve to be there, and that is heinous, dude. Heinous. Yeah. Uh, i got to take this fucking thing off here. Rumble, right? rumble, rumble. To pull my battery because it's fucking up. I don't know what the hell's up with this. So if anybody's trying to call, just hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> call back shortly. Call back. Who's gonna sing the uh, elevator music? I'm fucking breaking that shit up in harmony. What do you know about that? Entertainment. What Why can't I? Yes, but back to my point, Mark. Get a hold of them, see what they can do for you, man. Because there's got to be something. Well, this he's is... got he's got Pete he's got Pete Kelly. He's I know. Badass. I he... used to have his son, Chris Ledger. He was my attorney until he became a disability lawyer or whatever they do. Oh, his son, Pete Ledger was his son. Or yeah, Chris yeah. Ledger. Or Chris, Chris Ledger is his son. He's a good lawyer. He's a. Uh... Yeah. All right. Bing. What in the holy heck fire is going on with my phone here? Holy heck fire! I just died. I just. Oh, that, that, what the fuck is happening here? It's turning back on. Yeah, I had no battery in it or anything. It turns on. Fucking. <laughs> well, you got it plugged in. So it's yeah, it plugged in, in, but that's weird. Anyway. That's because you rooted it. Should... Dude, dude. Yeah, oh, it it's your phone. <laughs> yeah, dun dun. Yeah. yeah, it's this. Yeah. Dun dun. All right. So... You've got nothing. Anyways. I may still have to pull this battery. <laughs> I, but anyway. I've, I've been drink, looking for these, and uh, oh, I got some more in this one. It's absolutely fucking oh, crazy. Uh, what else is crazy? I'm going to take a brief hiatus here for one second because I missed out. And what the fuck? Is that my phone again? Yeah, it is. Uh, Eric, Eric's phone is kicking his ass. Oh. Okay. Have you guys seen... Um, hang on. Hanging on. That makes me think, I don't know, like elevators, right? And then it opens up and you just sword kill everybody that's in front of you. <laughs> like Kill Bill style. Can I, uh, God. Is there anything in it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, good job, Wang Chong. Everybody Wang this, Chong tonight. Nope. <clears throat> don't you. I need it. Unnecessary. All right, so listen, while we're on this little freaking interlude, right? I'm going to bring this up, and you're going to be mm, probably agitated too, Eric. You and I had this conversation earlier. DRM, do you know what it is? What is it? DRM. Yeah, DRM. This is crazy. DRM? Digital Rights Management? Digital Rights Management. Did Eric you hear knows. what they're doing, dude? No. Like, the new Xbox won't play any um, used games, right? So you right. can't borrow games from people what? and use it yes dude you have to register it to that you system. have to register it to that system fucking right dude. oh dude you ain't heard the best of it yet right digital rights media they're protecting their shit your playstation 3 stuff you bought on the playstation network right right will not transfer to the playstation 4 
you have to buy it all again, <sighs> just like PlayStation games. Up, you know, you yeah. know what they're, you know what they're doing though. They're they're fighting a losing battle. Of course they okay? are. Okay, because for every time you come out with some digital rights, remember when they come out with copy protection? Ooh, copy protection. Hey, you can't copy it. You can't copy it. Yeah, I can. Yes, you some can. fucking genius out there <laughs> yeah. put a fucking thing online, and here you go. <laughs> Hackers. I can copy anything now. Sure. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. And it's not like yeah. Here's the thing I don't like about it, dude. Is they, if, at at some point. These businesses are just going to have to give up because right. there's too many people downloading shit for free. They're, now, if it's somebody I really like, I'll buy an album. Absolutely. That's a, but it's a rarity. It yeah, is I a rarity. I will bands. download some shit. Yeah. If I, and especially when it's old shit because they don't, we've talked about this before. They don't make any money. The, the artist that I love doesn't make any money off the old shit. Oh, no. So download anymore. all that shit. Fuck the record companies. Yeah. But eventually, they're going to go downhill and everything is going to be free. Every, oh, on the on the internet anyway. Yeah. There won't be any anything that can be downloaded mm -hmm. will not be sold anymore. Well, it's that's just it. gonna happen that way. They say they're doing it to prevent pirating, but this is just gonna excel pirating but, like a yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, it is because some genius out there is gonna yeah. get it, and it, it they're just wasting their time. They're they're trying to they're treading water. But that's not even the best part, dude. Well, what it is are these. Well, oh, go ahead, dude. Well, maybe they know that. Maybe they know that. Well, and yeah, they're just, they're just they're gonna, flailing at the. Well, they're gonna like trial. hold back that little bit that they can. At yeah, the oh yeah, for sure. And get their money before we figure out how to just take it's, what we need. It's just like anything else, dude. When something else new comes out that trumps out your business, that's tr piracy is trumping out there. It's not. I don't even call it piracy. I call it downloading shit from the internet on my computer. Yeah. Even though I feel kind of bad in my head that. Uh, Bands like whatever Metallica or Skid Row or whoever else, you know, what, whatever bands have Fuck been. Metallica. But they got paid. They got paid to make those albums. Now we're just going to go into a time where nobody gets paid to make music anymore. You just make it because you want to make it. Right. Absolutely. And that's what it's going to end up being. And if, you're gonna, if you want to make money, which you need to to yes. do tours, and do it at t-shirts. Exactly. Do it at and that's stands. where any any real rock band will always tell you that's where they make all their money. Yep. The record companies don't make as much on that end of it. Right. Nope. They make their money on t-shirts and shit. And that's why t-shirts are like 45 bucks. Could you imagine if there was no record companies involved anymore? Maybe they would get involved a little bit, but it wouldn't be like, you know, it would just be all... I'm going to do an album, and this sounds good, and a lot of people like it. I have a following. That's what you're going to have to go back to. Yeah. It's almost going to be like a reversion, because back when, you weren't shit unless you had like a following. Yep. And it had to be a big local following, you yep. know? And then somebody sees you and says, damn, that is doing awesome right here in this amount. I could take that global and make it do even huger. Yep. Right. Yep. But now it's just going to be the same thing, but without all the money behind it, you know? Well, see, like, another thing with that is, right, is they're trying to make it so you have to be online all the time to play your video games. All the time. Like, right. single-player like games? Shit, yeah, but, but, but with your time. consoles. Right. I don't buy a console to be online all the goddamn time. Maybe I don't want to buy DLC. Maybe I don't want to go to arenas and fucking have co-op games. See, they haven't, they, haven't, uh, they haven't fucked guys like me yet because I don't... Um, uh, I know I don't play online games, but I do play the games. Right. I don't play them online though. I just like the one player mode, and it's e like all they usually block is the online functionality. It's hard to get online to their servers because you have to pay for an account and this and that. But I can download the fucking game and just play all the way through it and have a blast by myself. I don't I don't like playing. I'm, that's me though. I didn't know there's a big online gaming community. Mm, I don't. I'm not a big fan of it. I've done it a couple times and I just. I like to play the game and yeah. find out the story, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, the fact of the matter is, like, you have these games where you have to be online all the time. That means they're going to have their own servers. What right. happens when those servers go down? You can't play the game at all. Right. You have way. basically a, a non-working game. Yeah, that you paid uh, $65. Yeah, well, there's, there's some games like it's that like, that are just strictly online games, like uh, that, that DC Universe Online. Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Stars Republic. Wars. And it's kind of cool. But I don't like the games as much. Right. There's no story to them. Nope. It's so just sandbox, it's, dude. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I mean, that's that teacher's own, I guess. <sighs> I, I have that DC Universe. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Right. But you, you, on top of that, you're not like a real like console gamer. 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 No, no, you no. have a computer that you bust ass on. Yeah. Right? I'm, yeah. I'm talking about console gamers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Consoles. <laughs> and that's, that's a weird thing, dude, that uh, 
that like Xbox 360s and, and the, the newer versions that are going to be coming out, PlayStation 4s or whatever, that they're better than a PC. And I never understood that, but I guess they're way better. Uh, I mean, I can play the same games that you can, but you're going to have better frame rates because it's only games. Yeah. But even then... You got a whole big tower with 12 gigs of RAM, fucking six core processor, all this shit. And that that Xbox 360 has that in equivalence, you know, yeah. but no OS. But you can't really upgrade them. Well, no, if you jailbreak your PS3 or your friggin' uh, Xbox, you can put. Oh, Linux that's true, on too, there, though. With them, you're, the upgrade is the graphics card, and the graphics card is the whole system, yep. pretty much. So yep. you you really can't upgrade them. You could probably overclock them somehow. Yeah, but, but how are you ever going to upgrade them? That's it. You can't take it out. No. It's, yeah, it is it. It's that's there. The, so. Yeah, it's essentially what it is a giant fucking graphics card. That, that, I never thought of it like that. You can't upgrade those. Fuck, though. Yeah. Uh, not me, dude. I'm not moving on next gen. Nope, I'm staying right where I am right well, now. Well, I'm I'm always like years behind the curve. Uh, yeah, I'm all right with that. I'll love it when I play somebody else's. Yeah. I'll go over their house, say, hey, "Check this fucking PlayStation yeah. Four out." Yeah. yeah, but I, especially with PC, even on a PlayStation Four, I could probably play most of the games. Not all of them. There'd be some of them that'd be five years too powerful. down the road. It'll still be new to you, right? But I can go yeah. get a two hundred dollar uh, kick ass graphics card that's even more than what I got. Or even the same thing and run both of them. That's it. You know. That's exactly it. And I don't. And I can play most of those games. But where it backfires is on awesome games like Red Dead Redemption, dude. They don't make a PC version of that. Well, no. Check it out, though. Right? You can get your PlayStation disc and get a freaking PlayStation emulator, dude. They don't have them though. Yeah, they, they do. Not for not for PlayStation uh, three? two and three. They have the original PlayStation, and there was a PlayStation. I've looked, believe me. <laughs> There was a PlayStation. They have a PlayStation 2 one, but it's wonky at best. It doesn't really... It works, but it's not always and only on select games. But the... uh, It's weird. That's the even weirder part, is that I can run these games. They port them over to PC is all they usually do. Back when, which is a weird thing, back before the console games really took off, like PlayStations and Xboxes. Yeah. There was a big PC gaming market. Oh, yeah. It was better. That was all. The, yeah, that was the shit. That trumped out all the other fucking... Well, that's the only place you can play Neo Geo shit. Yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> but yeah. now it's the exact opposite. Yeah. Now the, the PC games, they're not even really making them for the PC anymore. They just poured them over from the yeah. Xbox version, you know. And, and PC misses out on a lot of exclusives, oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah big time. A lot of exclusives. So... Yeah, let me... T- I'm going to... I guess. Oh, shit, did that even turn on? That was that was a little segue there for video game games. God damn it! It didn't turn on. What the fuck is trying to call? Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about gaming, which yeah, is important. Try- yeah, they're trying to call right now. Oh shit! What the fuck is up with this? It's got to be that that charger. Or well, something. in all fairness, everybody, that was just a segue for Eric's phone to start up segue. and get right. going. <laughs> but um, yeah. Hang on one second. I'm gonna get rid of this. I think is the problem. Good. What's that? You got, you got an extra one? What? Of these? Charger cord. I only have the one. Charger. I got, uh, just give me, I don't think I was out of battery. Just give me one second. Let me plug it in and, uh, and we'll Do see what's now. what here. Get down. Do it. Do it. Oh, well, isn't that fancy? I think I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to have to pull a battery again, but leave it unplugged this time. <laughs> dun, dun. Excuse us for the, uh, Kind of brain deaded in this here. Oh, God. Right. Okay. So, pull the battery. Plug. I think this phone might be going to wayside, gentlemen. Might be going bye byes. What the fuck? It's strange. The one time I need it. Like, every other time it rings, I'm like, fuck, who's fucking calling me? You know, or whatever. <laughs> Get all pissed off. <laughs> What the fuck, man? How about maybe like the reboot mode there? Oh no! Well, it's power, volume up or down, depends. Yeah, it's just—it's weird. I'm not getting like. It might. I've dropped this thing a million fucking times. It might be just that the. Let me try one last thing here. Plug, plug this in. If not. Uh, I have to have a call in on Kimmy's phone. One well, son of a bitch. 
Okay. So. If we're, <laughs> we're, just, we're starting up here, I think. Oh, God. Anyway. All right. Dun, but then, dun, 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 reboot system now. There we go. It didn't do that before. You have we're, now. I think we're in like Flint now. In, in like Flint? In like yeah. Flint. Remember that movie? In like Flint? I don't. Had uh, that guy, yeah. The guy. Fuck, what was his name? He was a badass. He was like the, he was like the cooler version of James Bond. Uh, <laughs> he, he had a bunch of movies. Uh, and it was it, like Flint, he's our man. And, and in like Flint. Nope. He I was a tall, him. lanky dude. He's kind of into karate a little bit. And he had like short gray hair. Uh, it was, uh, fuck, what? what? Boom, right. boom. This, this thing might be going fucking tits up. It's a uh, shit. What was his name? Uh, I can't remember now. I, I actually, I have no I, idea. Dude. I can I actually. We can test this out. Uh, let's see, our man Flint. All right. Uh, on five. It was like those 70s kind of spy-ish movies. Uh, let me just... I'll go to a part and... Uh, you know, I'm curious while you're on, on the YouTube or, or, or like the, the internet there. No way. What's up? You know, the, there was that guy we were talking about earlier who um, was wrongfully com uh, convicted of murder and he served... Oh, oh, hang on. Sorry. Sorry, bud. Okay, go ahead. And he had served 20-something, 20, 20 23 years or something like that in prison and they released him and I watched the video of the judge saying you know no matter how you know if I say sorry or not I know it doesn't cover sorry go ahead <laughs> it, do it doesn't cover I've never seen that before you never s oh, hold on uh, let, me, let me just play a second of this you, right. you can see uh, let, let's uh, let's bring this up for everybody else here this fucking guy uh, <laughs> you click what's the wrong, the wrong thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh this dude was like the cooler version of James Bond, I thought. But it, I mean, it's definitely a super seventies movie. They had like kind of fembot gr girls in it. You know what I mean? Dude, that kind of his ladder climb. He's was like very well, actually better than saying James Bond. He was like the non-comedy and obviously That's, better looking version of Austin Powers. Wow, that was you know? a really really cheesy action climb. scene there. <laughs> yeah, no, it, went it was forever. choreographed, dude. Yeah, left hip, right hip, he's, left hip. He's right in hip. other movies though. He was in. Uh, <laughs> He was like the bad guy in uh, Hudson Hawk with Bruce Willis. Remember that? I remember that one. Yeah. He was the bad guy in that. I see his face now. Um, he was also in uh, Payback with Mel Gibson. That's some pretty good fight scene. That's some pretty good fighting. Ninja kick. Oh, <laughs> Judo chop. I take that back. I apologize. That was horrible. Judo chop. Wow. Hey, there's no blood and lots of people. Where, wow. Come on. Give me a close-up of his face here. What the fuck? Let me scan through this. He's the stunt get... actor. Yeah, right. There he is. There. He... Oh, come on now. What is your uh, name? James, James Coburn. That's his name. Oh, that's who that is. No, uh, I know. I know who that is. I just can't guy. see his face yet. James I know. They're, oh, okay. Wait. They're they're fucking. Uh... Stop by steam. Let's that's skip crazy. ahead here. Here's somebody else. Damn steam. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. That's pretty cheese ball. That's worse than Nickelodeon. Do no right. clinky. Do no clinky. There he is. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I know who that guy is. Yeah. What year is this movie? Look, he's even got that like the old. fence. Like 1966. Oh, is it 66? Huh? Yeah, 1966. All right, we can't, watch, we can't watch all of this. But there he is. Yeah, James Coburn, badass motherfucker. In tonight's podcast, in like Flynn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> can we anybody say Enter the Dragon? <laughs> or wait, no, what? that wasn't Enter the Dragon that that thing was in. I like Enter the Dragon, dude. Wasn't it Return of the Dragon? Okay, we got we to fucking go. No, no, I think... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Enter the Dragon was the whole swirly... Thing, was right? it Enter the Dragon? Yeah. Which one was the one with the had the guy with the bear claw and the he had the That's and the mirrors? Lots of them. Wow. The the guy with the mirrors though, uh, the Chinese guy. He had the three. 
They're like nails, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. And, and there was like a fairy top to it. It was supposed to be like a bear claw. <laughs> I don't remember. It was pretty. You remember that? With, uh, I remember seeing it. I don't remember what the movie was called. Have you, have you guys ever seen... Uh, uh, oh, let me see if this is... Uh, we got... <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying. I got to see if we... Okay. Why can't I play Skyrim on my Atari? What the fuck? Are... Why? Well, because your Atari is definitely oh. not capable. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Somebody was. All right. So let me let me read a couple messages I got. I don't even. Two oh eight. Oh, I'm not gonna. Say, I shouldn't say the number. I don't recognize the number though. What is your name? Your name. What is your name? Um, so anyway. Okay. Knowing what I know since then, I am not surprised Sheldon would pull this weirdness. I only know the name Mark Crouch had or has. I am on Team Mark. There's one, uh, and another one says, uh, oh, no, it's the same person. Uh, he should only have to deal with the probation violation and let the rest of the world know that Sheldon is and has been a ticking time bomb. Uh, and then for some reason they asked, why can't I play Skyrim on my, my Atari? Because we were talking about the video games and shit. <laughs> yeah. Good call, good call. Remember that conversation we're having about video cards? Yeah, there's no moving parts yeah, on that, an Atari. That's really, that's really, really right. awesome. There, there, I know it's a lot of people were going to like... Uh, we're saying they're going to like the announcement. They like the announcement of you're going to have him on tonight, and it's cool to have support in, in a situation like that instead of like just letting it be the opinion of this like crazy VA guy, you know? Because like, well, I was saying before the Chinese fight here or whatever, um, there was a guy who just got out of prison, wrongfully convicted for 23 years. Right. And I watched the video of the judge saying. You know, we're, we're sorry and we can't say it enough, but I'm going to say it anyway. I'm so sorry. And the very next day, dude, the guy has a fucking massive heart attack. And that's the last I heard. I mean, he, I, he he survived. I'm sure he's in, still in ICU or whatever. But he did 23 years of his life was taken away. Oh. And then, you know. From that. And, and, and then he gets out and has a heart attack the very next fucking day. Fucking ridiculous. Yeah, you never know either. It's crazy, though. You know. Hello. Hello. Is this Stephanie? Yes, this is. All right, hang on. you got to wait one second, okay? He's wrapping the I'm phone. i got to wrap the phone. Dude, don't press down on your button. I know. I'm trying not to. Uh, don't hit the power button. Dun, dun, All right, hang on. Hang on. Dun, 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 We're working on you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, this is such a fucking rigged up. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Shit. Okay. All right, you there? I'm here. Okay, so yeah, so we just got the whole skinny from Mark there. Uh, I mean, I got it from him a couple of days ago, but even I picked up a couple of new details today. It was fucking nuts, mind blowing. Yeah. So you, right. so you were there. What what happened from your end? You were in, obviously you were in the car at the time, right? Yeah, I was in the car when he got shot. Uh, I told him because Sheldon was mad because of me. I feel. Anyway. Right. So I, I was in the car, and I told Mark, I said, I'm not going to give you a couple minutes. He was just, give me a couple minutes, just, you know, I want to talk to him. And I'm, he wasn't mad or nothing. He just wanted to talk to him. They were best buds, you know? Right. So I said, okay, I'm going to give you a couple minutes. Like, I literally timed him. It was, like, two minutes. I didn't go past a couple minutes. And when I walked in, Mark was shot. No and fun. Sheldon was standing over him with a knife in his hand. So, on the phone. Whoa. So, Yeah. So you you didn't hear it from in there or from outside? You gotta understand. I'm not really mad about Chad, but we had Chad in the back seat. Right. Uh, his mouth didn't stop. Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, anybody could vouch for that. Yeah, and, and there's exactly. nothing against Chad. He's he's a funny bastard, but he he's a he's he's a little on edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's always. I mean, I'm related to him. So oh yeah, yeah. No, he's a good shit. He's my neighbor. He's a good shit. I I parted with him a few times. He's funny. But, yeah, he definitely, yeah. he's a mile a minute for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, didn't even, like, you didn't even hear anything then? I mean, you guys were just no. yakking away in there and unreal. No. no, I go in there and Sheldon's there holding a knife. And first thing he looks at me is, what the hell are you doing here? And I'm just like, what? You know, and I'm like, what happened? And, you didn't and free, Sheldon's I mean, like, what? Huh? So when you walked in, did you did you know that he'd been shot, or or, or did you assume well, it, or did he, you see a gun? I or? saw him bleeding, but I saw he got stabbed. Well, you, you guys standing over him with a knife. What right, you expect, right, you know? right, right. 
so I'm like, what the hell did you do? You know what I mean? And by then, Mark had figured out what happened. He's like, stop, he shot me. And I'm like, what the fuck, you know? That's nuts. And wow. I just went, I made sure Mark was okay, and then I went and got Judy, and the two of us, you know, t took care of him until the paramedics got there. Unbelievable. Wow. That's yeah, nuts. Yeah, it was Shit. crazy. So you were taking... Crazy. You were taking and care of Sheldon him? And Sheldon was emotionless, like completely emotionless. Sitting on the couch. Just sitting there, talking like wow. just normal chat. Wow. Wow. No yeah. shit. So while he was on the phone with 911, it was you and Judy taking care of Mark? Yeah, I had to go find a towel because Sheldon wouldn't budge to get a towel or nothing to wow. stop him from bleeding. Oh, fucking believable. Dude, he had it in his head that night for him to die. Something. Had or or just, head. like, pissed off. I mean, I don't know, man. What? Well, I have, I have the text messages, and it was all, you know, send him in, send him in now, don't wait, now, send him in, and that's what I got. And oh, I was getting text please. messages, like, almost the whole time we were driving. I was driving to Sheldon's house, and Mark's like, don't read them, just keep driving. because Yeah, 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 you weren't texting and driving. That's illegal. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I didn't do that. But I wish I would have read them before Mark went in. Like, I didn't read them until after Mark had right. already gone in. Right, because you were already, you're just pulling in. and Why yeah, would you no think sense. you needed to, you know? Right, right, right. Oh, he's probably just texting, when are you getting here? You know what I mean? Did you leave me the phone? Right. Yeah, yeah. And Mark oh, was texting him, so I didn't see no big hurry, you know? Right. And wow. it was just, it didn't even make sense. And then when he was in the ICU and Sheldon showed up, Sheldon insisted on talking to me. So I talked to him for a few minutes, and he's like, you don't think it is on purpose, do you? You don't think I wanted him dead. I hope you don't think that. And I'm like, why would you even say that if you didn't want him dead? Listen, like, I, why would somebody say that? I don't, yeah. I don't know that guy, this dude that supposedly shot him, but from my thoughts and what I've heard, he wanted him dead. Yeah, like you don't think I wanted him dead? Why the fuck would you shoot him? After Why would you tell him to come in? And I've got my gun out. Yeah, and it's dark in here. Yeah, and he was fully dressed, and he was in bed, and his dog was locked upstairs. He did not let his dog downstairs until after the paramedics got there. Wow. So what? What happened? The, 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 the cops came first. Uh, ambulance first. What? What went I down? They all came at the same time. The ambulance came a little bit sooner than the cops. Right. Right. So yeah, they, they right. ask you what happened right then? and They waited a little while. They got Mark in the ambulance to get him stabilized. They talked to Sheldon before they talked to us. They talked to us when we got to the hospital. After yeah, wow. they didn't talk to us until we got to the hospital. They're like, they came over and asked us questions then. So, yeah, they worried about Sheldon. And Sheldon was sitting there all, like, clear conscious, like, talking to fine. And I looked right at him, and I said, I hate guns. And he goes, you hate guns? You shouldn't hate guns. You hate people that shoot them. I'm like, I hate them, too. And then he started bawling. I'm like, yeah, I cry now. Yeah. Wow. Holy fuck. Mm. So he, he wasn't distraught that once the lights came on, oh, my God, I shot my best friend. Right. Reality just, uh, it all swelled back out. Holy fuck. Not even an oops. Yeah. No. But no, he starts, but he breaks awesome. down when he says, she doesn't like me. <laughs> Looking ridiculous, man. Wow. And then I get a text message like two days later. You might not need me now, but I need you. And I'm like, really? You're going to go there? Creepy. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mm. Holy shit. You want, might want to check your back seat when you get in your car and shit. I <laughs> know. Nuts. Well, you, live, you, you still live uh, down south, right? Yeah, I live down in Bangor. Yeah. Yeah. He knows that. Yeah, when yeah. He's down here, luckily like, he didn't know where I lived. I was like, holy cow, I wouldn't want him at my house. Hell no. Yeah, no. I mean, the the crazy thing, though, is that that dude was totally normal the rest of the time, right? I mean, you got you guys, well, they've hung out. I, I know Mark's known him forever, and Judy was saying the same thing. He was totally awesome. He'd come over, barbecue, and shit like that, well, and just one night, just fucking snap, go loopy. Mark and I and Sheldon and another guy all went out like three weeks prior we had all gone out together. We had a grand time. It was fun, you know. And this time, he just didn't want me hanging out with Mark. Wow. That's nuts, dude. Do you think it was maybe... I mean, again, this is no way, like, anybody's uh, fault besides his. But uh, do you think this was, like, a, like possibly, like, a, like I like her and I know she doesn't like me and I'm pissed off about it? 
I think you know so. I mean? It's more of a jealousy thing. I, I, that's drunken what I jealousy. Of, yeah, that's what I can't. Drunken yeah. jealousy, and you yeah. don't know where to put your fucking shit, and you put it on your buddy who brought the girl over. Mm, fucking, you got your woman. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm betting. I'm, right. I'm only speculating, but I think that's probably pretty. Right. Uh, well, but before that, earlier in the day, I had hung out with Sheldon earlier in the day to have lunch with him, and he was very pushy with me. So I didn't like being alone with them. So I went to like a, a place where I knew people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. We, were, we were sitting at Big G's actually having lunch. And uh, I told him, I said, okay, when, when you go back, I'm going to hang out with, with Krista. You know what I mean? I'm going to hang out with Krista. And then I'm going to go over and hang out with Mark for a little while. He goes, well, I guess I'll let you. And I'm like, what do you mean you guess you'll let me? We're not in a relationship. It's not like you can stop me from hanging out with my friend. That's creepy wow. stalker status, dude. So, was it, I mean, yeah. did he say it? Is it like just joking? But it, you, and, and you took it okay. That's just joking, but still, it's a little weird. Or was he being? Yeah, you know it was what I mean? a little creepy. Yeah, just like, but it. He was saying it in a joking way, but still ended up being creepy kind of deal. Yeah, I'm not justifying it in any way, but I don't think he was completely joking. I think that he he didn't want me hanging out with Mark. Period. Right, right. That's like, it, like that would be like why he said it for sure to put it out right. there. Like, hey, I don't like this, but right. ah, just playing, you know. <laughs> Dude, listen, straight up here. Hearing this stuff, yeah. maybe the police need to check this guy's backyard for bodies. Right, right. I'm serious, dude. That's well, I do. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess I could be at, at times kind of pushy with a chick one before back in the day. You know, maybe like hey, oh, yeah, I, oh, I did, yeah, that's why you know. I, I recognize his you know. drunken jealousy. Oh yeah, guys when they're drunk and they well, like, he's got both girls with him, and I'm it's... stuck here at home with my hand. <laughs> who, you know? who were we just talking about the other day? Uh, Okay, well, I won't. I won't mention full names. Oh fuck it, I'll mention. Them. No, I'm not gonna mention full names. But there's a guy we know that, no matter what time of year it is, no matter what, every time you see him, if he's drunk, this guy is a total fucking asshole. The worst. Start fights seen. with everybody, but when he's sober, he's totally fucking cool. He's a really, nice, but he's only sober like ten percent of the time. The rest of the time, he's fucked right up, and he'll start a fight with best friends of his just. And he's that drunken, I'm pissed off for no reason. He's just fucking motherfucking, fucking gonna fucking start fucking. He just start running his mouth and he's slurring his speech everywhere. That's what I see that being. Uh, like alcohol is a whole new monster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it does, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, if there's a if there's a monster to be brought out, it can be brought out by alcohol. Oh, best, it's a true story. You know? But, man, to, to that extent, though, that's what's really crazy about it. That's what makes it like extra spectacular, you know, like extra unbelievable, like just whammo. I mean, because I I did a uh, like a video about this a while ago. It wasn't the, the actual podcast with the three of us, but it was just me kind of testing the waters. And I mentioned that I was like, I, I can't even imagine ever shooting somebody under any circumstances, even if it was like a life or death, like it's him or me, and I have a gun and he has a gun. I don't know for sure if I'd be, I, w I would want to pull the trigger to save my own skin, but I don't know for sure if I would have the gumption to really do it. But this dude did it, no problem at all, wacko time. If somebody you know? kicked in my door, yeah, I would I be mean, upstairs. I would let my dog down first. Fuck yeah, most and I would stand my ground at the top of dark mm -hmm. stairs now, see, with my gun. Even that is something that we all like to think that we would do, but a lot of times when presented with the reality of a of a of a, a real dangerous situation yeah yeah most most of us are gonna jump right in our corner or hide yep. that's like, i mean i hate to even i don't think i would do that but well, most right. everybody does that's what i'm saying that happens. I, I, I would I, i've got the gun right next to my bed and if i heard somebody coming into my house i would stay in my room i would call nine one right. one from my room yeah yeah and if the threat was, I don't know who who just came through my door. If I can't see, what if they've got two guns and they're a really good right, shot? Right, right, right. And that's if somebody kicked it in. Yeah. However, if somebody, now clearly they could tell that the door wasn't kicked in just by yeah. looking at the door. So that's yeah. pretty much out. Right. But, I mean, what? yeah, what's the deal with that? He said that he, he, he said to them that the, uh, that the market kicked in the door. Didn't they obviously know that he didn't kick it in? The door was actually busted in. Um, it was all dented, and the deadbolt was both busted out. Pre There's just no way that Mark had time. Like, he walked through the door, and he walked in. So I don't know if that was part of a setup. Oh, maybe he busted his own door in because he couldn't find his keys or some bullshit like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, or maybe this ooh, the mark. man, if he busted that door in and then went in there, and you guys fucking called, and he told, "Wow, what a fucking major premeditation." Yeah, dude, yeah. major Although, premeditation. I would, I would bet. I, I'm only speculating again, but I would bet if he did, if Sheldon kicked the door in, I would bet that it was he's pissed off. He just got in the drum, motherfucking, you know, same thing, motherfucking, fucking motherfucker, and smash his own fucking door. Just like I've seen people punch their own windshields out. I've yeah. seen that a million times. Punch their own right. holes in your drywall. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stupid shit. Right. So and maybe, like, like, maybe that wasn't like a. Time. What's that? didn't have time to kick the door in plus right. go in and get in this big old brawl with him and get shot and make it back to the door before I get back there. Just, there's no way. Yeah. Well, you it, know, and he didn't kick the door in because I watched him walk right in. Right, so. yeah, but even then, he has a text message that says, come on in. And the you fact know, why would you kick the door in? <laughs> fact of the matter is, man, if you're kicking at a dead bull, it's going to take you five, six good oh, shots. Oh, yeah, a while. And you're going to know. People are going to see it happen. Yeah, you're going to hear it. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, so... Nah. And that was Sheldon's big defense. Look at my door. Look at my door. Look at my door. And I'm like, so really? They're looking on the door, and the guy's on the floor bleeding to death. Look at my door. Look at my door. It's really? at least two hundred dollars. <laughs> holy it shit! It's the door. I know a few carpenters that can help you. Yeah. Like, holy really? fuck. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Look at my door when I realized it shot my best friend. Best friend. Twenty, thirty, what? Forty years? Thirty years? Forty years? Fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Look at my door. Look what he did. <laughs> yeah, he did it. Holy I didn't. Shit. Yeah, come on. That fucking asshole busted my door. <laughs> Unbelievable. It like seven shots, you know? Really? Yeah. That's even oh, worse. If I, if I shot my husband every time, ex husband every time he took the door, and he'd be dead a long time ago. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, well, um, even then, like. I, Okay, if they if they end up, I mean, the best thing that could happen, obviously, this isn't going to go. It can't go anywhere just because of the text messages alone. It can't go anywhere as far as him, you know, re, forget like probation for a second and and just look at the the trial that it goes to. If it goes to trial, well, it's going to go to trial, right? Uh, right. So once it goes there, obviously that's a win yeah. for sure. So the only thing he's yeah. up for now is this bullshit where they're trying to pull out some ancient, trumped out old law. That allows them to bust somebody on probation for special for just, occasions. Yeah, we, we really don't like this. Yeah, guy. we really want to pull this one out of the yeah. woodwork. And dust we don't it need off. him around. So let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this one's the in case of a, a, a case of emergency. Break, break the glass, glass in yeah. case you got Mark Crouch, right? Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. Un fucking believable. Uh, I feel I, I I feel for him. That fucking sucks, man. And it, that's the way it is when you get out of uh, you get out of jail, dude. No matter how long it's been, you just have that fucking stigma on you for a long time. Now, you said that when he came to visit him in the hospital, he was asking, do you think he did it on purpose? What was his concern about Mark? Did he have any? He asked me how he was doing. Well, no, he's not. He really didn't say anything. Right. Wow. He just was like, how's he doing? And I'm like, well, you just shot him. How do you think he was doing? And I mean, did actually the day he came, Mark's blood pressure was up and down. He wasn't doing all that great. So, did you? I mean, did you freak out day. when you seen him? I mean, I, I would have been like, "What the fuck are you doing here?" I was pissed when he was there, and he would. I tried to walk past him, like to avoid him, and he got in front of me, and he's like, "I want to talk to you." He's like, "Can I have a hug?" And I'm like, "Really? You're gonna go there? No, you're not gonna have a hug." So, you know, and he's like, "Well, I didn't mean to shoot. I mean, I didn't know right. it was him. I, I like, didn't what mean to shoot him seven him. times." Okay. So if Mark was in, in the hospital and he was going to be charged with this whole breaking entering, there must there should have been a, a cop. He must have been under some sort of guard. You would think. You would think on a gun charge, a gunshot. Yeah. And why would he be uh, this other guy be able to, to show up? And if there was a case pending, how how could that? I well, bet. I well, like, yeah. The, oh, yeah. That's real weird. Huh? That's, that's, that's bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, what's even be better is Mark was saying that, didn't he say he didn't even know him? Isn't that what he said? No. When he Sheldon? walked through the door. Yeah. He says he, he didn't. Oh, he didn't know who he was. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. They were he best said friends. he got tackled by, you know, even. They were on. saying that Sheldon didn't know who it was. Bullshit. But that's bullshit. Yeah. He knows who it was. He told him to come in. Yeah. <laughs> Send him in alone. I guess alone. Text messages still, so. 
What's he that? Say what he wants. Yeah, he it's a, yeah. Text that's, that's, Hopefully that's, so. Fucking right. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. That's that's the fucking the proof is in the pudding on that yeah. one for sure. You, and you got a fucking great big bowl full of pudding. Mm, <laughs> pudding. Uh, yeah. yeah, there's uh, there's no way that anything will come of it. The, the only thing that they might screw them on is that bullshit with the probation. Uh, that's, that's what they're trying to do because they can't get them on anything else. That's so fucking shitty. I, you know what I'm gonna write? I, I I'd like to. I, I mean. We can only do so much with like a podcast that nobody watches. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, people watch it. People will usually watch them after they're they're already on. We post them up on YouTube and shit. But I think we, I might fucking want to write a let like you know those letters to the editor and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Write a fucking big letter. That, just another DA's little, office at least. Yeah, fuck something. That's crazy. You gotta be out of your mind. Get fucking a bunch of people to sign that shit. Petition for fucking drop yeah, this bullshit dude. against fucking. I mean, this is, at the end of the day, forget that it's Mark Crouch. For any naysayers out there, for any people who have any, like, uh, issues with Mark Crouch personally, forget that. Forget the name. This is a person in in this city that's getting fucked yeah. by this city. What did what, you say the other day about the deal? When it all oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The crazy. deal that they were offering him. Did you, uh, I don't know if you were, were you listening earlier, Steph? Yeah, I was. Well, yeah. the deal they offered yeah, yeah, they said we'll give you your ten years for violating, and uh, yeah. another what year run at the same time as those ten years for the current charges. If you plead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, it, I was telling Mark and 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 Brian and them, uh, before we did the podcast. Uh, I was telling them, I was like, that's basically like the DA saying, hey, okay, here's we got a deal. Here's our deal. <laughs> We're gonna let you suck all of our dicks. <laughs> and I know that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good at all. But Here's there's a the silver lining. Yep. We will let you swallow. Uh-oh. No problem. <laughs> if you do it right now. If you wait, you're not going to be able to do this. Gross. You know, this is a ridiculous deal. It's, yeah. It, would you, you like, know you make sense. Yeah. Would you like to lose your right arm or your right leg? It's, it's not even a – there's no cho- – I don't like to lose none. <laughs> Didn't he almost lose his left right. leg? Right. Oh, well, that was no – I was making no connection to that, but I was trying to come up with a metaphor. I should have, should have said like a finger or something. <laughs> but yeah, fucking nuts. No choice at all. Uh, no. no choice at all. I, Dear Lord. Yeah, I, doesn't it, like I said, I, I felt bad like when this first happened because it's like, oh my god, it's all my fault. But well, no, clearly not. Calvin's crazy. crazy yeah, Calvin yeah, you can I mean, there's something I just had that wasn't right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the that's the biggest thing about it that, that perplexes me to no end is that there's something went crazy with him. I mean, he dipped into a fucking whole bag of crazy because I did, I could never do it. There's no way I could ever do anything like that. Especially, I mean, even if I was completely shit faced. Look how many people that get shit faced and drunk and partying and get pissed off and whatever. Very very few pick up a gun and say fuck it and wham wham wham. It it so rarely happens. Yeah. But when right. it does, you're like, wow, you went deep into that bag. Yeah. You know, you went farther than I ever went and than anybody I know ever went. Well, like you were mentioning, I didn't mean to shoot him. Yeah, maybe once or twice, not seven damn times. Oh, he meant to shoot. Of course he meant to yeah. shoot. <laughs> yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Because, listen, you only need one well-aimed Look, shot to the leg. You're done. Here's, here's I didn't mean to shoot him. He had him at gunpoint. And Mark jumps on him, and they rustle around, and the gun goes off. Yep. That's I didn't mean to shoot him. Yeah. Not, you kick my door in. Bam, 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 bam. Tackle, tackle, bam, bam, ba, bam. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't mean to. <laughs> right. You're out of your mind. And I, said, and I said to Mark, he's in the hospital. I'm like, okay, tell me that wasn't intentional. Like, this is all a jealousy thing. And if you look at his gunshots, they're all around his midsection. Midsection, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Watch. Okay, so seriously. Wow. Oh, you, speaking know. Of, you know, I didn't ask him. That, well, if you, if you if he would have told you, I guess. Everything down there is good to go, right? Everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I should have asked him that. That's a pretty pertinent question. <laughs> there you go, Mark. Now the whole nation Everybody knows. knows. You're back. Yeah, well, well he's, he's got a woman, so, you know, he's not back in business. But <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable, yeah. though. I, I can't. Yeah. Well, oh, go ahead. There's no way he was aiming for his. So it was a complete jealousy thing, and you can't purposely aim like that when you're wrestling on the floor. No. Yeah. You can't. No. It goes off on accident. You're not going to say, "Oh, well, look." Yeah. You know? Look, accidentally hit the bullseye five times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You guys got a nice little cluster there for right. accidentally. Oh God. Yeah. Right. Oh, unreal. Sense, so. No shit. I don't know. So but, are, are you going to like the court thing and everything? Are you going to be a witness? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Awesome. I went up once already, but it got canceled because we had that big snowstorm. So yeah, did they pay for your travel? Do they uh, do they pay for your travel? No, no, because you're a, you're a defense witness, right? Yeah. But if you're yeah. for the prosecution, they pay for your travel. Oh yeah. Fucking that's, that's okay. sucks. I'll do it for Mark. He's a well, good yeah, of yeah. But it sucks. No. You know, yeah. And yeah. you know what should happen in a situation like that is once he beats the charges. You should get reimbursed for your travel. Because right. they would have paid their witnesses. And they fucking lost the case and made you take We would have paid their witnesses. This is tax dollars. Yeah, that's true too. Going against Mark. That's true too. Hard at work. That sucks. Yeah. That's the worst of it is that it's, uh, I mean, forget anything else. Just look at that one situ- this one situation. That's the fucking worst, man. Yeah, forget his reputation. When, forget you, his past. When, when the, when the, this is where the system, like, fails. You know what I mean? It's it's failing right in front of us. It's like whoa, or it's at least being completely misused. Oh I mean, yeah, it's not absolutely. to the where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? They no. should they should go for a change of venue, change of prosecution. Well, yeah, they'll never. He's right. You know, they'll never get that around here. Nope. It ain't it ain't fucking law and order. It should be like that in a big city, big high profile case maybe. You it's know the good old boy system, dude. I keep on saying that, but it's the truth. Everybody knows everybody, so they're going to pat each other on the back and slip each other yeah. little fucking notes. At, <laughs> at like, the end of the day, though, the, where, where, where Stephanie's got the and, – and, and everybody else has the tax and shit, I mean, it ends up coming out. The, there's no way they can get a conviction on this. They just can't. They, mm-hmm. they just never be able to do it. Uh, you know, Unless there's the, a whole public blackout and then they move him out and – a van and, right, and right. take him off, you know. Well, so far as I can tell, like, uh, uh, Steph, you're still there, right? Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, the, uh, chime in anytime you want here. <laughs> um, the, uh, the only thing that's really contestable is that, and it's not even really contestable, but if, if I played devil's advocate and I was the DA, I could say, like, well, okay, but we're charging him with, what was it? It's a... Criminal trespass, criminal or something mischief, like that. criminal yeah. trespass, and assault. We're charging him with that, and the reason we're charging him with that is because he kicked the door down. That's what he said, and the door is kicked down. Now right. you say that he kicked it down, but he says that you kicked it down. We're siding with him, and we're going to go with that and try and charge you. But that's <clears throat> when you take, even if you could convince somebody of that that he's telling the truth about that, he's lying about everything else. So his credibility is gone as a witness. So even that thing has gone out the door. The one sort of maybe they could convince somebody of, it just doesn't work. Well, real quick before I forget about this because it just popped up into my head, right? When exactly did this happen? In November-ish? Yes. Yes? Okay, so there would have been snow and mud on the ground? Yes. So there should have been a footprint on the door. Right. Yeah, the thing is, is that Mark was doing work at his house all the time. Right. And Mark would, like, open the door and kind of kick it with his foot when his hands are full. Right. So, even if there was footprints on it, he was there every day. And his well, footprints yeah. would have been on there anyway. But, and but not a footprint. You know, not a footprint. To, yeah, not a footprint to kick in a door. To kick though. in a door. Like, kicking different. in a door. Like, when you need... Because if it was a whole lock, foot. yeah, you're going to see a whole foot and probably five of them yep. uh, before yeah, you get... So they must. One, but like I said, Sheldon had been wearing Mark's shoes too in the prior. He was what um, now? Sheldon used to borrow Mark's shoes because Sheldon didn't have any nice ones to go to the bar with. Right, but they must have had Mark's shoes that he was wearing. That he was that wearing night. that night, right? Yeah, I don't know if there was a footprint. I don't remember. Wow! If it was if now, they, see, this is a failing on the on the PD. They if, should if they have looked it. for that. Yeah. If they missed it, they might have it. I don't know, but. Yeah, there's a break and enter and a dude got shot. That's, I mean, potentially, at the very least, it's attempted murder, or possibly, or it could be. And I don't understand why they didn't... Premeditated. I don't yeah. understand at all, in a gunshot case, yeah. why you and, and the other girl were allowed to leave. Yeah. Or, or, or be questioned at the hospital, right then and there. Yeah, you should have been you questioned right then. You should have had an officer take you over oh, yeah, separately. Yeah. Something. And while still fresh in your mind. Just not handled very well at all. It's, and it's like, I mean, 
if it was just like a domestic violence, you know, they get into a fight, and eh, whatever, meet us over there. This is a gunshot, multiple gunshots, yeah, potential death. To, yeah, yeah they nearly did dead. Us. Yeah, <sighs> and they just let, too, huh? they just let every they let you guys take off, meet us down at the hospital, yeah. no problem. Yeah, well, they we went to get Tammy first because they, Sheldon wouldn't let us call and my phone was dead, so we went to go get Tammy first, and then we brought Tammy back over to Mark, and then we just went to the hospital, and Mark went to the hospital. They didn't question us until I had already dropped off Chad and everything. They didn't that is question so us until we got to the hospital. That is so weird. And then they like, like write a statement. Well, so, so they never questioned Chad Mark. either? It wasn't a question. He was writing a statement. They didn't question me until Mark, the day Mark got out of the hospital. The day Mark got out of the hospital, I drove him to Caribou. That's the day they questioned me. So you're talking like five or six days later. What, what about Chad? Did they question him? I don't even know if they even questioned him. He didn't even have a clue. Yeah, he was he was um, out the lunch. We knew told, that. Mark had told him that his name was Bobby, and he believed that he didn't even figure out it was Mark Crouch until after. <laughs> I know, I know. I remember you telling me that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So he's like Mark. Oh, I know Mark, and it, like, it took him all night to figure it out. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's yeah. He was hammered too. I'd imagine. Yeah. Listen straight oh, up here. <laughs> and actually, um, he looked at me. I drove him home, and he goes, uh, "Stephanie, do me a favor." And I'm like, "What?" He goes, "Don't tell Sheldon that you drove me home. I don't want him to shoot me." Mm. And I just like really. <laughs> Well, That's he bad. he might have legitimately had a fear. Yeah, well, you just saw him gun down his best friend. Yeah, you, to just, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Was, he just shot, he just shot his best friend seven times, and I barely know this dude. And the girl he likes is giving me a ride home. Yeah, <laughs> well, he works he works for Chad's mom, Chad's dad. Oh, really? He works with Chad. Yeah, he works at Gonier as a mechanic. Oh, wow! My. Wow. Mm. Unreal. Yeah. This is nothing, to, and by the way, there's nothing against Chad and his dad. I know both of those guys are really cool no, guys. No, no, uh, I'm related to them. Yeah. I have nothing against them. Yeah, oh, no, no, but, yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, wow, that's fucking amazing. I, I I don't know. I just can't even believe this is even happening. That The the bigger thing is it's on, like right under everybody's noses. Like, I, other than, I bet you anything other than us and the people that were involved and the people that have actually watched this. I bet you nobody knows what's what's going on with this. Like, I mean, this it seems. I don't Why know, would you I, care though? Because well, yeah, DA being a good guy, exactly, for the exactly. You, you see what the the, the fucking rah 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 the pop, cheerleading pop, pop. competition. Yeah. Pop, 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 pop. Well, I got mad. Like after it happened, I was at the hospital and I'm looking at Facebook and they're talking trash about Mark and I'm like, Danielle, they don't even know the story. Well, that's just it. You know, and yeah. they're so mad. That you was know? the main I'm reason like, Mark, I got to deal with this. Right, that was the main reason I got in touch with them. I was like, dude, because everybody, anything something like this, ha anytime something like this happens, it's always just a bunch of gossip, and it's not any one particular person. It's just a bunch of people hear a part of a story, they add this, they add that, and most people don't even intentionally do it. It just becomes a completely different story. Yep. And well, I had talked to you like not that long ago, the night that my daughter went over there, and you're like, really? Because I mean, it was like didn't even sound right, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Yeah, it was, yeah. was mind-boggling. Absolutely mind-boggling. Yeah. So, what, now, you, so they, as far as you know, they didn't question Chad. They may have, they may, may not have. They let you I don't guys... I think they questioned him too much. They don't think he remembered anything. He never actually went right. outside to the house. Yeah, that's not he what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just Still, saying, like, specifically as the, far as... He was on the scene at right. a gunshot. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not saying that he has really anything to say, because he was out to lunch, and we all know that, but they didn't <laughs> know that at the time. They should have questioned right. him immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, I don't know if they ever did. And they, and they, and they, they, they waited to, much. they waited till you guys went into, uh, to the hospital. They told you to drive down to the hospital. And they just, yeah, they, they, so they just pretty much took Sheldon's word for it then, right? Yeah, well, they didn't even question us then. They, they, um, they had us write a statement then. They didn't talk to us at all, really. They had us write a statement. And then Mark oh, went writing to a statement is kind of like we questioning, all went I guess. To Obviously, well, Judy came back up. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. They questioned her then. They didn't question me until I went back up with Mark on Thursday. Right. I guess. Uh, let me. I guess back up a little bit. I, what I meant was uh, by questioning. I mean, because writing a statement is kind of what I was getting at. I I should right. have used that term instead. I guess, but 
essentially that was kind of questioning you, but then they re-questioned you again later. But they did have right. you write a statement that night? Yeah. Yeah, but, at the hospital. But see, the crazy thing is is that they just sent them on their merry way. That's what's yeah. really weird in a case like that. Go well, ahead. Meet us down there. They don't know what happened. Yeah. He's telling them one thing. They could have fucking take had time, guns and straight. shot at him first or something, yeah. and then he returned fire. They don't know yeah. that. Or you know take what I mean? this time to go and right. get you guys a story straight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ugh. wow. Listen, anytime I've ever been in trouble with somebody else, no. <laughs> We're yeah, together yeah. getting questioned. Yeah, fucking. it does not make any sense. No. Yeah. yeah. It That's... seems like a whole lot of fuckery, dude. Mm. I don't really... The the bigger thing is that I'm noticing now, though, hearing all the little deets coming through, is that it seems like this was a really botched investigation. Like, as far as what, you know, well, first of all, how did they even charge him with that? If they if you, they have your statement and her statement and Mark's statement against this one guy's statement, they don't have anything else yet. They don't have the text messages, hypothetically, anyway. How, how do they even charge him with anything? They had my text messages the night of the, actually the night he got shot, um, because really? I borrowed Tammy's battery and I said, this is the text messages, and they took a picture of my phone with the text messages. And they so still the charged them. So the he got shot, they still charged them. Wow. Yeah. That's just getting them out of the picture. Yeah. Yeah, I dude. I gotta, I gotta lean towards that. They had, okay, so let's be very clear. They had, obviously, they had... Your two statements, and well, Mark, he probably didn't write a statement, but clearly no, he's going to write something good for him if he was going to, you know what I mean? Uh, right. So they have your two statements, and they have they have Sheldon's, and they have text messages saying that from Sheldon to send your guys' in. phones, send them in, send them in. Yeah. Send them in alone. Yeah. And yeah. you had multiple text messages before that saying, we're coming, we're on our way. Uh and he kept Send saying, Mark come in. get him. Yeah, yeah, come get, come get him, the keys. this and that. Wow. And yeah. they still they charged They didn't have Mark's messages. They just had mine. But mine, will, mine says, you, you want to see Matt, I'll show you Matt. He said, uh, send him in, send him in now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Hurry, send him in. I mean, I have like wow. eight or nine messages telling me to send him in. You know what I mean? And they had those the night he got shot. I showed up to they read them all and everything. And they still charged him. That's an amazing amount of bullshit. Yeah, totally. That's crazy, dude. Total bullshit. Because, I, I, wow, I don't want to get into like like names. I don't know who charged him, but man, yeah. whoever didn't read the lines That's on that one—that's a concerted one, effort. That is. That is. That is. Yeah. I mean, it's boy. I don't. There may have been some kind of. See, the thing is, is that. If it was me, and I'm not a fucking cop, but if it was me, I would look at that. Even if I had a preconceived notion about somebody, I would be like, well, look, this is not going to stick. Why would I charge him with them? And clearly, these text messages just say, send them in, this and that. It just doesn't make any sense. Why would you even do that? Unless, you know, he's on probation for 10 years. He's got 10 years over his head, and if he violates, he goes back. Yeah. And they really wanted him gone for the 20. I don't know if it's like a full on crazy conspiracy like that, but geez, it fucking reeks of one, though. Well, you know well I mean? it doesn't seem like a right. conspiracy. It just seems like one guy with the ball, and it was just, yeah, I've got the ball. I'll take care of this. And yeah. He just yeah. goes on their merry way while he does what he's supposed to do because, in reality, nobody else likes Mark anyway. So Right, right, let's right. Let's just let it happen. It's this kind of the, the stigma. That yeah, sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's not fair. That well, blows, listen, man. like straight up. Uh, because I I know what you're saying with it. It seems to be kind of a conspiracy kind of thing, right? Yeah, not. I mean, but we I can. Use that I wish there was another word we could I use. I know, that but word, it works. It sounds so JFK. Dun, dun, dun. Shit, but. No, but fact but of the matter is, is it's hokey. To say yeah, the least, yeah. it's hokey. We have the mediums to fucking put this out there for everybody. We all individually have well, YouTube the, pages. The crazier thing that we is, can share from. Is that so, they have they have these text messages that are part of that same medium and they fucking just they still charge them. I don't even get I know it'll be it. I know it'll be it. That's not even a if he didn't, that would be a major fucking sh oh shit storm. And the amount of times that Sheldon has changed his story from the time yeah, it happened that until he, now. If you add up I mean you could look at this whole thing just by a couple small numbers of of facts and immediately decide. 
But there is an array of shit that's just all compounded on top of itself, yeah. you know, that, that makes it impossible to look at it any other way. Yeah, it's true. Right. It's, I don't know. Very, very I'd strange. be curious what Sheldon has to say. Me too. Yeah. I don't know if I want to have him on the podcast, <laughs> one, but I mean, I can't say, I, look, I, I, I can't say anything. I mean, I, I know it, I try, I would try to be as unbiased as I could, but, but I can't can. be biased because I'm looking at the facts. Yeah, and I'm looking at text messages. I mean, barring actually having seen them, but I'm sure you're not telling me that you have them when you really don't, just so you can get away with it on a podcast. I seriously doubt that's the right. case. No, I so, have yeah. <laughs> but I would. I, I I don't know. I would like to hear what he had to say. I, I bet he would want to say jack shit. Yeah, I'll I don't think he would say fifth. anything. Ah, uh, he's yeah. played in the fifth. Yeah, because yeah. if he fucks up. He goes away for... That could very well be attempted murder. That is attempted murder. Yeah. That's premeditated At the very, the murder. very least would be manslaughter, and that can be up to five, ten years, I believe. I think, well, what is right. it? It's a class B, so that's up to 15 years. Right, up to. Yeah, yeah. up to 15 years. Unreal. So, yeah, he ain't saying shit. Nope. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll invite him to... Uh, 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 I guess, how would I do that? Uh... Shoot me a message on Facebook. Don't uh, say shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cheap. That was cheap. Awful, awful. That was an awful. Too soon? Yeah, too. No, not too soon. Just that was a that was a pretty hokey one. But it was where it was you. You had to take the stab. Do it, man. It was awesome. <laughs> no, don't don't say that. Just better choice of words. <laughs> send me a message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Send me a message, man. I mean, I I could do. I I would do that. I would I would stay as biased as I could. I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't call you full of shit until I heard your story. I would. And then I would probably immediately call you full of shit. No, but I, I, would. I don't I don't know. I, I would let him I I'd, I'd give him the first 20 minutes and go ahead and tell me what happened. No, but I just don't I I say he said what he said and I think he should stick by it until he gets to the court. Which time? And, what he's what, what he's going with now. Oh, You're the, talking about Sheldon? The, the now yes. story. Yeah. I think he should just stick with it. You did it. Stick with it. Go with it. Yeah. See where it takes oh, it, you. It, he'll try. He's yeah. gonna. He's gonna get fucked. I just don't see how his story's holding. No. Yeah. Like he's changed it so many times. Plus, there's three of us. Yeah. That's telling the same thing, and then there's one of him. Yeah. 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 That's. This is clearly. I mean, it, it's not gonna. He's gonna end up getting the 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 best case scenario for him is that they don't is that Mark beats the charges and they don't charge him, but they'll right. charge him with something. Because somebody got shot seven times. Yeah. And somebody to go down for something, yeah. Yeah. If I were Mark, I mean, this is just me, but if I were Mark, I would immediately fucking press charges on him. Oh, hell yeah. Afterwards. And I know that's not his style, but fucking A, man. You got shot seven Look times. Look at how much work he's missed. I mean, yeah. time of work he's missed, all the pain and suffering, oh. all the humiliation from town that he's gone through. People I thinking that he's... Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the other big one. People automatically think that. Because it's Mark Crouch, mm. and that's that's what they think. Yep. You know, I remember uh, I was I was on leave from the from the army for like two weeks. Dude, I came back here, and I hadn't been in trouble. I hadn't been around here for a long time, but there was still warrants out for me or something. <laughs> and uh, they heard that I was I was here for like four days, and uh, it was during Christmas break, and some place got broken into. It was like a grocery store or something, or a convenience store or something like that. And the first place they came to, they heard I was back in town, dude. And fucking one of the local PD come right over to my parents' house. Hey, have you guys seen Eric? You know, we had a couple burglaries happen. And we heard he was back in town. And it's like, fuck you, man. I've been out of trouble for years. I I haven't been in town for years either, but still. Like, well, come so, on, right. man. You don't even have don't any like reason to go to me other than I used to do that shit a long time oh, ago. There's people still today that would see me oh, yeah. and go, you were that asshole back when you were 18. Yeah, I'm well, 36 years old like now. 20 years later, douchebags. <laughs> I'm a, definitely a different person. Yeah, so were you. You were a nice person back then. Now you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, when they questioned me and the sheriff questioned me, they were they're in the car and he's like, weren't he's, didn't you just have a dealing with your husband and I'm like yeah and he's like now you're dating Mark I said no I'm not dating Mark I'm friends with Mark he goes maybe you should start doing criminal background checks on people before you date them what? and I just want like, I wanted to slap him and like, he's applying that to uh, Mark not to Sheldon okay I got a question yeah, yeah. he was telling that to me about why you know because I hang out with Mark and then my husband had beat me up well 
my husband hadn't had any dealings with cops in 15, 20 years before I got with him. Right. And Mark, I mean, he shouldn't be telling me I should have criminal background checks on people before I date him, I mean, or I should be hanging out with him. It's like, really? Just because right. he has a criminal background in the past doesn't mean he's still a bad person. You know, it doesn't make him an evil yeah, person. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're talking about cops investigating this. Uh, which agencies? Was it the Caribou PD, Maine State Police, Aroostook County Sheriff? Which agency? The sheriff was investigating oh. it. Oh, it was the sheriffs? Yeah. Oh. Because I don't think, yeah, because I wouldn't have thought. I don't know anything about the sheriffs. I don't. I never had really any dealings with them so much, other than a pullover for a ticket or something. But I that kind of threw me for a loop when I heard that because about the screwy investigation shit. Because the Caribou PD is usually pretty solid with that stuff. So far as I know, they always got me pretty well, damn good. <laughs> you know? yeah. They were they were thorough, if anything, you know. So it was only the sheriffs. There was no there was no town PD. I'm pretty sure the insurance did the whole investigation. Yeah. Wow. There was talk about the state police taking over, but I think the sheriff ended up keeping it. They were the first one on the scene. See, but Still, what? you would think that there would be a state trooper from the area in charge of the overall... Yeah. Uh, state police are the ones with the crime lab. Yeah. They're the ones with right. the crime lab, so... Right. Well, yeah, it, it would make more sense. Yeah. It huh. would make more sense. Well, I mean, they always send no. anything they need crime lab stuff. They just send it to the state right. police, but... They have the truck. <laughs> right, that'll yeah. drive up and hmm. see what's going on. You know what's weird? What's weird to me though is that, I mean, that that's that it's weird that a sheriff went there because you, uh, yeah. this this all happened at Sheldon's house. He lives right in town, right? He lives right on one sixty one. Yeah. Well, I, I know I for I know for a fact when there's a um, I've been in situations where an officer is in, in this needs of assistance and they call it out. And you will get the sheriff, the stadies, and every cop within ten miles that can yeah. get there. Every agency will show up at the scene. Yeah. yeah. So if there was a break in and entering and a gun with a gun, because yeah. we just had a murder in Woodland a few years back, it's yeah. unsolved. Yeah. So now you got an area out there where there's another gunshot and there's a victim on in the, and only the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, that's really uh, weird. I, 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 dude, calling all I, cars in this in this area. I that's get pulled so... over for doing ten miles over, and a cop pulls me over. We're in there for a little while. One always pulls up after him. He always pulls always. up behind him. You need some help. Yeah. <laughs> you know Especially what I mean? a gunshot. Always, yeah, always. You know, just recently there was in only Chapman. That. There was the murder suicide in right. Chapman, and there was every agency, every available agency, flew out Chapman Road to go and. It was, and was there anybody besides the sheriff there? Besides that one sheriff? Um, later on, the state police showed up. The okay. sheriff was the first one, and a town cop showed up later on. Right. But the sheriff was the first one on the scene. And they're That's, the one that questioned you. Yes. That's a weird thing, though, that the... Sh what I don't get is that the sheriff happened to be the first one. I would bet... I don't recall ever seeing too many sheriff cars driving around in town at, late at night. I... I Sometimes it happens. I, I see them every once in a blue moon. But, it's but I see a lot of town cops driving around. Yeah. And I would right. think, I mean, it's it's not 100%, but I would think it would be much more likely that a town cop would have been closer. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you would think so. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess, yeah. But with a gun. I mean, come on. There was a gunshot. Yeah, that's they, the big they, thing. You would think they would hop, 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 and they all show yeah. up and cordon off the area, collect all the witnesses, collect all the evidence. Yeah. None of that adds up. Nope. Sense. Yeah. It seems like, oh, we showed up. Here's what. Yeah. Right, you got, you're would, okay. You have to look at. You have to look at anything like that. Like, how would I have handled? And I'm not a cop. I'm not an investigator. Yep. But I've seen TV. I know how an investigation goes. I know that you retain everybody for questioning. That's the number one thing. Always. Every show you ever see, don't let anybody leave here until we get a statement. Right. It's the first thing they always say, man. You're not but, under arrest, yeah, but you're you not need to arrest. sit on the curb. You're just going to sit on the curb, write me <laughs> yeah. a statement, tell this officer everything you know. I'm going to go deal with this. I'm the fucking lead homicide. Event. You know what I mean? God. It's, it's, it's a fucking... And it's not... It's not because that's TV land. That's just because TV land is mimicking real land. Yeah. And right. they're trying to do it as, as accurate as possible. And that's the way it really goes down. But well, they're that's not. why you watch you know, the old show Cops. That's how they did in Cops. You yeah. know, everybody got questioned right there on the scene. Yeah, you Everyone know, who's ever been involved with the cops knows how they do that. Well, here's the crazier <laughs> thing, dude. The crazier thing is that that happens at a traffic stop. That happens... 
that whole scenario we just described happens at a domestic dispute. There's Everybody gets a, a statement. That comes up there and stands a, behind. Oh, oh yeah. There's and one guy with taking statements. Arms. Talk one with guy this guy. The back of your car. We're going to talk with you over yeah. here. You're going to talk with her over so there. So you apply this. that to a gunshot in a home invasion. And you say, nope. Go ahead, meet us down the road. If you need to stop, get a coffee, whatever you got to do. <laughs> and we're going to go down to the hospital. We're going to bring this guy in because clearly he's at fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just makes no sense at all. <laughs> oh, my God. I got the man. He's injured. You're all set. Go ahead. Yeah, don't worry. He's already been shot. It's okay. Damn. Don't worry. The the culprit is down. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Fucking it doesn't nuts. even make sense. No, not at all. But, but the, the worst is that they're... The, the, they're shoddy yeah. fucking no statements no yeah. no get in my cruiser I'll take you down there or I'll follow you down even anything uh, yeah. dude oh, weird God. that doesn't make any listen sense. Uh, they don't I could tell you stories to which the whole thing just screams of you fucking know, yeah. we're, we're, we're gonna probably follow this story uh, every podcast we're gonna have a review on what's going on <laughs> yeah, with oh yeah story. definitely definitely and, and, and once the, the trial is over I'll, I'll use cop names. Uh, Dude. I'll, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Once you see, because he'll have his discovery and shit, and he'll have everything all in paper of mm. who's, who's did what and how the Absolutely. whole thing went down. Freedom of information, fellas. Gotta yeah. love it. I yeah. love this. I mean, you know, this. I wouldn't be, like, purposely out to get somebody, but if somebody fucked up, and you fucked up, you need yeah. to get accountable for that shit. Absolutely. Yeah, you do. No, no abuse of power allowed. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. The thing is that Mark, all he wanted was our keys. He didn't want to fight. Uh, right, He didn't right. want to cause trouble. He wanted our keys. So, you know, like, I had to go back to Bangor the next day. I wanted to be able to go back to Bangor. And when I talked to Sheldon the next day, he goes, but I would have given you a ride to press Kyle. Well, the other part of the issue was that Sheldon was going to keep his hands off me for the last two, three days. Why would I want to be alone in a truck with him going to press Kyle? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. You know, and I think that that was part of his plan. Well, if I have her keys, then I have to give her a right to press down. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just drop Judy's off, you know what I mean? Right, right. Oh. oh that's creepy. Wow. Mm, no shit. Judy already had her car. She just didn't have the keys. All she did was drop hers off and then give me a right to press down. No shit. Uh, it doesn't, not, make, it doesn't know, make sense that any train, any train investigator didn't pick up on the bullshit. Yeah. I don't know, it's just very perplexing <laughs> well let me ask you this right you say that you feel like this is all your fault this doesn't weigh heavy on you does it like you don't feel like it's just legitimately your fault Mark got shot it. do you doubt it what's that you don't feel like this is your fault right I did for a long time yeah like, I wouldn't even worry very, about it very much so yeah and I still have times that I'm like you know and I've told Mark many many times I'm like you know you'll always be my best friend you should get shot seven times for me because that's just the way it feels. Right. Well, but yeah, Sheldon but it's not. Sheldon shouldn't have done that, you know, and Mark's like, no matter what, he says, you can't control what Sheldon does. Yeah, you he can't. Didn't know you he can't, was you can't shoot control me. crazy. You can't, you can't foresee right. crazy shit. There's nothing you can do. You could have been right. a thousand miles away and he could have done the same thing. Mm. You know, it, right. it, it, it wouldn't have, it could have been any number of people, whatever. What's that? Oh, it's oh, it's eleven forty-one. Oh shit, we've been going wow, two and a half hours. Wait, well, hey, we got it. We got to cut it out here because uh, we're like two hours and forty minutes into a podcast. This is the longest one yet. <laughs> Hot <laughs> topics. This is a special edition, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. I'm glad, well worth the extra uh, forty minutes. I hope a lot of people tune in <laughs> and even watch it on YouTube. Well, listen. Right. Well, thank you for getting Mark story out. Oh fuck yeah! Well, it's down. important. I hope people see it in different light now. Hell yeah! Hell well, yeah. here's a suggestion, right? Like I brought this up a little while ago. Eric clearly puts these on YouTube. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these to my YouTube and share it all over Facebook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can do that. Put it all over Facebook. The more people that are going, what the fuck? Right. The more reaction there's going to be. You know what we could do too is maybe even do like a snipped down version for somebody who doesn't watch watch two hundred two and a half hours. <laughs> Cliff <laughs> notes version. Yeah, like like yeah. condense it down. Here's are all the key fucking points. Bam, 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 bam. Yep. Now make your fucking mind Spread up. Spread the word, man. That's what yep. we got to do. Right. Spread the word. So you know you people. Take out your phone trouble. What's that? I said if you take out your phone trouble, you'll. Yeah, I know. What minutes. the fuck, huh? <laughs> I, it, we got a fucking cheesy setup. You can see this here. It's a fucking. Little cheesy fucking rubber ghetto. band around, around my microphone and shit. It's pretty lame. But, yeah, it is what it is. You know? It works. It works. Right? So, uh, well, keep us, uh, do a, try to keep us abreast of any, uh, you get my number. Keep us uh, yeah. informed of any uh, crazy new developments yeah, or anything like that. Yeah, thanks for calling in for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Will do. And thank you again. All right. Awesome. Later, right, Skater. Until next time. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Boop. Boop. <laughs> um, I gotta hit. I gotta hit end. No, I don't have yeah. to hit end. Unreal. That was fucking completely badass. unreal. Unreal. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, that will, I guess, conclude it uh, yeah. for this edition of the Rooster County Experience Podcast. Once again, I'm Eric Gustin. That I'm is Brian, Brian Greenwood. Greenwood. And that is John DeVoe. I'm not we'll Big John guys. this week. I liked Big John. Thank Big John? You. Oh, Big John. Big, Big John. Sorry. Even Big though John. Brian's relatively much bigger than I am. But. I, I'm pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> it should be Big Brian and Little John. Right. Oh, wait. No, then it'd be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't want right, to be. Until next time. Yep, we'll see you guys Peace. next Sunday.